It's Tuesday for you guys. It's Monday for us. It is Collider Live, and we are back. And guess what, Mother Apps? We're live. What a full show we have today. I was going to say full house, but I don't want to say that because I haven't watched the sequel. Right across from me is my man in charge. My main dude. What did you do over here, Mark Ellis? What do you got going on in this drink? I got no gum. Ah, no, like very gumless. nice. Very nice. I, I had gum. I was chewing gum as I came in. Yeah. Uh, I had my coffee bean, drank the iced tea, filled it back up with water, was about to spit the gum into the water, as I am usually right. still doing, but Roxy, just she was so nice this morning. She saw me in my car. She waved at me. We had a nice little conversation. And so. you decided to do it out of respect. Out of respect for Roxy. Sorry, not me. And n- No. <laughs> you, you're the guy that used to leave. He when Chris used to come over to my place to shoot reviews. Every time after he left, I go to the That's bathroom to go to the. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm in the bathroom and I'm taking a leak, and there's always like a wad of gum in the actual toilet. And I'm like, dude, if you're gonna borrow my gum, if you're gonna be ch- asking me for a piece of Don't gum. Put it in the toilet. You're not allowed to chew it, then uh. spit it into the toilet and not flush it. <laughs> like, if you spit it in the what toilet the, and you flush it, I'm you, not even going to know. We're going back six years now? Is Within that what we're going to do? Six or seven years. You want to go back to all the six, seven years stuff? Is that, <laughs> well, was it This is was a gum-related incident. This is the history of gum in our relationship. Fine. And I remember what got him to finally stop. Because I said, if you don't right. stop doing this, I'm going to tell your wife. And I stopped. Um, <laughs> which is, which is <laughs> touched a nerve. That's true. Right. I don't want to hear it. I, I got to hear enough. Mark, you don't always listen to the show, but what I will say, just in case you didn't not hear always, it. Yeah. yeah, not always. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt there. In case you didn't hear it, most people took your side on that situation yeah. very In the comment hard. section. Did they really? Yeah. Well, wow. At, at, it was unbelievable. I'm, I'm actually shocked. Me day, too. Day one, day one, that was true. Uh, when we mentioned it on day two, we saw the other side. It was it was a very split. Yeah. Day one was definitely in support. Weighed on your side. I only care about day one returns, which because would, right, yeah. there's always the thing that happens, yeah. and then the initial reaction is what I care about because then there's going to be a backlash to whatever, and then there's a backlash to the backlash. So I'm not sure who's winning right now, but I decided I think to it's over. defer to Roxy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's over. I, I was ready to be done with it. It's, it's so the, far from yeah. over. Roxy Stryer, how are you? I'm nice doing well. You. I'm doing well. I'm loving listening. To to the show on Thursday and Fridays on my commute. That's I also good. drove to the wrong place again this morning. Nice. So. You did it again? <laughs> <gonna get> rocks. <laughs> How did you do it again? <laughs> so I'm going to fill Mark in real quick because I know i got to give you cliff notes every time we show up. Um, <laughs> so last week, Roxy did a Roxy thing and she was on her way to work. She goes, I'm going to be there just in time or like two minutes late. But she left very early. The reason why is because she just went right past the exit and kept on driving. Ah. So she did that again today? <laughs> no, I didn't do that today. What I did today was I plugged in the wrong address. Oh. I plugged in into the address to Afterbus Studios, <laughs> and so I pulled up there today. Get out and of I here! And I parked my car. I was there at uh, eight twenty. I parked my car. I'm sitting. I'm responding to emails. In I must my have car. Drove, driven right past you, by the way, because that's around the time that I. Um, and then all of a sudden, I was like. Wow, not only am I in the wrong place, but I'm going to be late now. For, like, it's it's tr- I don't know what it is. I can't get it. Your head's broken. It, my head's broken. Yeah. It really feels shit. that way. Yeah, aliens and shit. Right. <laughs> they That's tapped true. in. Uh, I'm confused. I'm confu- Wait, you? But you you've worked. Like you know this address? Why do you have to? No, no, because she's she oh, talking about it. Do you wake it. up in a different place every she's, time? She's like, I don't know how to she's get direct- here. Yeah. John, she's directionally challenged. That's yeah. incredible. Like yeah. so, so challenged that I swear you dropped me five minutes from here. No, I didn't. Oh wow. No. No, right. I cannot. That's why I said we were, wow. we, were, we were we were laughing about it, and she took it as a good support, just like cause she told a really actually heartbreaking, disturbing story of when she was in college and she got kidnapped. Oh, wow. And, yeah, and we... And the nice what? And the nice guys that we are, we started to make fun of that situation when we were mm-hmm. talking about the uh, <laughs> about direction true. challenge because the guy, the kidnapper could have plopped her outside and she just went right back into the house. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, what? It's so accurate. I can't. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you gotta what's, catch up. I don't, so, I don't know what's real, what's fiction. That's, you know, that, that, that's real. But, that's but, yeah, not that but, but, None but, of it's listen, fiction. Listen to the show. Actually, you know, and it's very easy for you to find is the Jordan Harbinger show because then he came on later on and told the story about being kidnapped as well twice. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Whoa. But, but listen, Jeez. So Roxy. What happened um, to just like she when was y'all in a different to... country though? So yeah. I feel like that has bigger stakes. Okay. Right. Although he was let go much earlier than I was. Right. So well, Roxy, listen, comparing. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah, really, it was a. Listen to that story. It's been <laughs> um, You listened to the show on Thursday and Friday. I did. Which is good. Is Roxy, by the way, is probably the most honest person that you'll run into. So I always, you know, it's one of those things. You want her to listen to the show, but she's going to go. Yes, the vibe wasn't on. It wasn't. She'll tell you straight up. It wasn't. It wasn't working. Um, but you liked it. I did. I I think that 
we we were very kind to Bobby Finstock and his partner. I loved the first episode. You didn't? Um, no, I'm not saying I oh. didn't. I just, I think that we were nervous. I think you guys, like, Josh obviously had just fought with Finn Stock about right. the situation. And then when Josh came in and he, he was like, here. Josh well, after, oh, afterwards. afterwards, he came on and was like, it was fine. Yeah. Not, not very offensive. And like his voice just kept getting <laughs> higher and higher. Uh, but it was good. It was interesting to hear how much work they actually put into right. that project, mm-hmm. which I'm sure that people at home have no idea about. Like how you much see time? people yeah. playing with dolls and you're like, that probably takes two seconds. Oh, they put a lot of time in yeah. 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 So that was great. And then the interview with Paige yesterday. Oh, I just love her. She's, she's my good, whole right? heart. Yeah, she's yeah. really good. And I was happy that Darina found that, that connection, that goth connection. Do you want to hear something really funny about that? So Paige comes in here. Here, and we have a great interview with her. And so, and Darina, who has a similar look to Paige as far as like the dress, the Just skin. in terms that they both have very dark hair and like that similar right. rocker. But run. you would say you'd be able to tell the difference of them if they were standing next <laughs> to each other, right? Oh I know where God. you're going with this. I uh, don't know where you're going with uh, this. Yes, I could tell the difference. Our good friend Scott Mance <laughs> um, walks up. <laughs> no. Yeah, so so, yeah, so uh, right <laughs> no, after we're all God. done, Paige is still walking around the, uh, the, uh. the studio. And so Mance goes, goes because he's interviewing Paige at night at the Arclight, and he goes, Paige, Scott Mance, I'm interviewing tonight. Uh, Scott, I'm Dorena. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it was Dorena. Yeah. Paige, Paige was over He's like, they look similar. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> they Has he never met Dorena before? I, I'm sure, like a thousand times, I think. So, but they look, but they look. What, did he watch the episode? He knew she was in. No, he, it was right after, Paige was still in the building. Yeah, it was weird. When, <laughs> when my, Paige was like over on the other side and Dorena was like, you know, across and Mance came up to her and was like, hey. I'm Scott Mance. I mean, the nicest way possible because it's Mance. Not to mention, where is Paige from? London. Yeah. Yeah, but but okay. well, but, but yeah. Once she, they once they start talking, <laughs> right? You probably Dead picked giveaway. up a cue. But Dorina's yeah. like, Dorina calls me over. And she's like, Mance just thought I was Paige. She's like, she's like, I'm actually compliment. It's a yeah. compliment. Yeah. But it's a like, massive compliment. It's a massive compliment. But she's just like, but she's like, but I've met him so many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was funny. Uh, I'm still kind of bitter about not having seen the movie yet. But you still haven't seen it. It's out in theaters. Yeah, limited. but you did this. Ah, oh, but you can't blame me for only so long. How, how come Josh can blame me about Creed 2 still? It's been out for f- four years. Because we know he's not going to get over it. You should be better than that. All right. You should be better than this. Should, we should be better than I that. I should be better it's than good. that. It's you good. It's a good movie, what? too. SMD. Yeah. yeah. Let's be better. Yeah. Uh, John Roca yeah. having Hello. more problems at the at the household with the uh, with the Amazon. Jeez, man. Oh Jesus! Yeah, yeah what last, are you talking about? last night. Listen, we moved to a uh, zip code where we thought nice place. Yeah, nice place, nice mm-hmm. area. We thought we're not going to get hassled by those punk kids, but no, no. Oh boy! And I'm turning into my dad, and I hate it. <laughs> uh, last night we come home after a long day of furniture shopping and getting ready for London, everything like that. It's like nine o'clock. We come home, or eight thirty. We come home, drop everything off that we picked up from Living Spaces, and head out to Ashley to pick up the rest of our stuff. Living Spaces. I was gonna what? say the same thing. You can't yeah. not hear that. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, I don't know what you're talking and, about. And uh, Amazon goes alert. Boop. As I'm driving, Mr. Roca, your packages have arrived. So I go great, and they send a picture. I come to the doorstep. Package is gone. Uh-oh. And wait, I'm like, wait, can you squirrels? I'm sorry. I squirrels? I'm not understanding the story. Do you yeah. have a thing that, t- like, a thing that speaks to you? Well, no, no, in my head, yeah. But it, like, it, it, <laughs> yeah. it comes as an email. Right. Oh, okay. It comes as an email or a little I a thing you on your that, app. Like, he's the just, echo he's came just out audibly loud. telling the story. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> So I, I go, and I I'm like, oh, I don't understand. My stuff's not here. And we're, dr- and we're as we're going to Ashley, for, I was like, maybe they made a mistake. We'll, we'll check with them later. We're driving down the alley behind our place in Beverly Hills. We're driving down the alley, and uh, and I see these three young punk kids, and I'm like, with their hoods on, and they're looking, at, and I go, I'm not going to be judgmental. Yeah, I'm not going to be judgmental just because they're wearing, I'm not going to judge them. But they're leaning over this like con- this like a concrete uh, railing that like scurry. Yeah, scurry, like looking at stuff. They're opening. Up and I'm like, oh, I didn't think, didn't even think twice about it. I drive. Actually, we come back, and then uh, I were you reach with out your, to, Were you with the lady? Yeah, we did, were with the did, lady. Did, did who initiated the the idea that we should stop the car and go confront these hooligans? Who do you think initiated that? <laughs> g- 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 I don't gonna know. Go, I'm gonna go point, with her. Oh, that's fair. I don't know. That's fair. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go. With, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go with her. I'm gonna go with no, you. She, no, I'm me with them. John. At Thanksgiving, when we saw a fight going on in the street, it was her that wanted to go take pictures and video. Oh, yeah. I thought she just wanted to stop it. No, she wanted to put on the. Oh, she wanted to put on the. So like to, to get you know to, for the cops. So anyway, we we go oh, we come back 
And uh, Amazon says, sorry, we can't do it. It's been delivered. And I get like, I'm, I'm in bed in my underwear. And I'm like, God damn it. So I put my clothes on because I'm like, it was those punk kids. I know it. Why am I picturing I, a cartoon of the outlaw right now? <laughs> with his underwear and his hat on right now? It's like, you just seem, it's like Yosemite <laughs> Sam putting oh on his trapdoor pajamas. God, I would love for somebody to animate this. If completely. we have people who make songs, we definitely have people who animate things. <laughs> yeah, start for, start for, so you're, it's you're, the punk kids. So, you're, the, damn so the, the outlaw is in his underwear and his hat. You know, right. hat. I, put on, uh, I put on a thermal and a vest and I walk out there stomping in my cowboy boots and my underwear. Fire and Bill <laughs> <Bill's the barn. laughs> And I walk down the alley and I I'm like, I'm literally maybe I don't know two or three two or three buildings down. Steam coming out of your ears. Yes, yeah. and there it is. Two open packages front with my name on yeah. them. The stuff that was in them mm. uh, uh, all ripped out. Did it, did it say signed Snyder? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, and so all this kind of, and all this, so I'm like, those fuck. It was, it was those kids. How yeah. much? Yeah. How much kids. money of stuff? Um, 175 dollars. Yeah, but Amazon's pretty good with that. They stuff. did. They yeah, refunded us all. We reordered it, but yeah. this time now I'm going. I had it dropped off in a locker, yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, like five minutes it. away. So right. never again. You're yeah. on the other side of the hill now. You're. you're well, I've always lived on, by the Grove. Uh huh. We just moved Don't over. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Moved, yeah, moved me, over to like that area of Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe that you thought you'd get rid of the punks, but nope. Nope. Apparently, they came in through the back. And grab the stuff and then went back out. So right. We don't have a gate in the back. We have a Smart, gate in the front. Intelligent. Yeah, listen. Intelligent yeah. punks. Listen. So uh, if I find stores. them, uh, Mark, if I find them, yeah. I'm going out there with a baseball bat the next couple of nights. If I find them, yeah. I'm yeah. getting my stuff What back. happens if they're it's under 18? You can still do it. The, what, what, the skin, the lesson, the skin right? breaks what easier. The, what is the stuff? <laughs> what is the list of contents that they actually got from? Because it doesn't seem like you're ordering anything. I'm surprised they keep it in the alley. Yeah, well, you order stuff for new. It feels yeah. like you either had to put it, the stuff together or something to you know initiate some sort of domestic bliss right. situation as opposed to what these kids probably <laughs> want, which is like a, a skateboarder or some weed or something. Listen, some I don't appreciate the implication. <laughs> I don't appreciate the implication. That. No. <laughs> what is it? Want some, some cookies? cookies? <laughs> I said, yeah. Was it cookies or milk? What was it? It's Van Damme's kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Do you have a green card? Yeah. So listen. So um, look, I'm sorry that happened to you, but you got your shit back, so stop complaining. Yeah, true. All right. Uh, moving on. You know, oh, I do have something. I have something in development that you guys, Alice Ooh. will be lost, but we'll tell, we'll tell it anyway. Um, so my, I had a, a talk with Willie Deff, Mr. Willem Dafoe. You wow. Let him, you what? You let my neighbor. Him I had a, okay. I had a conversation. Nice. Um, I found something out that is very interesting. Oh, would it make you feel bad about the whole situation? Yes and no. Okay. <laughs> um, He's got a little smile going right now. Yes and so, no. Okay. So what I found, I talked to Willie Deff and I said, look, Willie. I didn't call him Willie, but for the sake of the story, I did. I said, look, um, I don't like this thing. The, the wave of the high and the smile and the, if there's some issues, let's just get it out and let's talk about but it. You just all of a sudden went over after nodding back for a few days. Well, because the reason why is because there was a lot of ruckus going on trying to put my daughter to sleep and I was like the door's still open after like there's it just leaving the door open having when they know that the bedroom's right there and all this stuff too I was like I don't want to be the grouch I just want to go and talk to the guy so you walked so go, over to walked over place. I said I said hey Willie let's go have a chat and we did we talked out by the the mailbox and I and like I said to him I was like listen I, I this wave and the smile thing it's like let's let's if you got an issue you I know you've been talking to the leader and and all this stuff, like let's let's figure out what's what's going on. He, as the garbage can thing was very funny. I told him I said because I actually talked about it on the show. It was very funny, and he goes, "Well, I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't move the garbage cans. That was the leader's girlfriend." What oh, a twist. the plot oh. thickens. Listen, what a twist! And indeed, it was. Because, and I was like, "Really?" I was like, "Oh, do he, you know the leader's girlfriend?" Very much so, and I like her. She's a, she's she's really she's a very nice girl, and I told you, me and the leader get along very well. Yeah. So maybe he just wasn't throwing the lady under the bus. I don't know. But I was like, all right, you know what? And then and and then Willie Deff starts telling me he's like, he's like, listen, any single time if it's too if it's too loud, just let me know. And the nice guy thing seems to be legit. It didn't seem like looks like uh, the leader wasn't didn't give me all the information. So he's been smiling at you and just thinking everything was fine, just, not thinking there was any going? issues. He was just being Willie so Deaf. So you were being the dick, actually. Ish. What a twist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Willie, Willie Deaf is actually mm. a, is a nice guy. And mm. it turns out if Willie Deaf was in a movie, then he would have been the good guy the whole time. And we would have meant to think he was the villain, but he wasn't. Therefore, could not have been played by Will, Willem Dafoe. No. Well, well Willie Deaf could have done it. Well, the real Willie Deaf could have done it and switched you around because you would have thought he was bad the whole time. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. I feel like um, <laughs> I, I you should feel, listen to the show. I, I feel like someone just plunked me into a room and made me watch like an episode halfway through of season six of Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. And I'm like, who the hell are any of these people? This is like, like I'm intrigued. You're intrigued. The characters are clearly fleshed you, you out. Know what's, I just you don't just, know you anything. Just, you just lost a little bit of the story. Here's what I'm curious about though, because yeah. I know that only sometimes you don't listen to the show. I know only sometimes. But, the only time you listen is right now. Facts. I can give you the facts of, the, of this case as I have been presented to sure. it. Be, uh, presented by Christian as your best friend who calls you to complain or presented... No, I've never talked to him. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. We talked about it in the office one time. Or maybe when oh, yeah, we were well, walking the, to the, the neighbors, When the, the, the neighbor had a party and the guy pissed on the mailbox, which Willie Depp also apologized it, for it again. Was, it was that, it was that uh, conglomerate. It was that, yeah. Okay, so it's a big, it's a ten dollar word. Yeah. It's those people Thank you. live there in that apartment. 15, so these are all the people that you that you've been dealing with. Yeah. So I know that you have somebody that looks like Willem Dafoe. Okay, yeah. and I know that you had an issue with the neighbors as far as the noise volume when you put your kids to bed. Uh, yeah, no, that hasn't been that ha that normally hasn't been a big thing. Like there's sometimes the doors open, and every yeah. single time they're not they're actually really. Good neighbors, to be honest with you, for the most part. It's just the only thing that was that was we just weren't on the same page with the damn garbage cans, and that's what it came back to. Okay. Yeah, and then it was. But just Willie Deaf is not the he's not the loud talker. Willie Deaf is. Oh no 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 no, 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 no. That's that's the guy across the street. Is right. Willem Dafoe. Yeah, the, yes. the loud talker is the guy across the street who I had a conversation with, right. and and he's never been he's never come outside since. I, I love how you you're you're able to turn this this radio show into like it's, almost, it's like you're spitballing ideas of how to handle neighbors <laughs> yeah. because you would not be you would not be bold enough to do any of these actions unless you got a, a place bit. a public forum to vent about it, and then as you're talking. Talking it out loud, you say, you know what, that is, it. I, I think I'm just going to talk to the person. Then you do that, and it seems no, no. to work out in your favor. No, it's also because this show is five days a week now. And because the show went five days a week, I said there needs to be more things that have to be adventures in all of our lives that have to play out. It's the freaking squirrels. <laughs> Which is why I'm raccoons. obsessed with you on air saying about you getting Sadie that present. Like right. you, that, got, you got mad? I, no, I loved oh, it because oh. I'm the only one who does that shit. Oh, right. I air out all my shit on shit air. and air. I air it all right, out. Right, right. And then afterwards, everybody's like, wow, you really aired out all your shit. And yeah, I was like, I thought that's what we were all doing. There's, there's a reason. There's a difference. There's I, a difference between you would, and me. And you, you are the bolder one, 100%. Because Thank you, you sir. And I'll tell you why. Because you say these things as they pop into your head with going like, shit, someone might listen to this. I know my wife will never listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> so so that, that, is, that is why I was bold enough to say. I just, I would love to have like the, uh, like a camera. Gift went over like a fucking fart <laughs> in an elevator, by the way. What, what, what did you get? Oh, what gift? What did you get? You get Got a fucking phone. And, okay. But the problem is, is there's no thought. Thank you, Cody. There's no thought behind it. That's what it comes that, out to that me. Is, oh, that's not true. true. There's a, there's a, but I, there's a lot of thought in there. I, I thought the said. thought was, hey, I need a new phone. One. Hey, I need a new phone. Two. Hey, I need a new, That's a fucking clue. Those are three <laughs> clues. Okay. So I went and I followed those clues to the <laughs> fucking store. Which yeah. requires thinking, uh, by here's the what way. You say, yeah. Yeah. No, here's what you say. Uh, oh, shit. Honey, Where were you last week? I know. You needed me. I wasn't oh, here. shit. Thanks a lot, Honey, Darina. I, I know how hard you work, and I know everything that you're doing. You don't have time to go do this, and I yeah. just wanted to make your oh. life easier in any way that I possibly could because the best gift to give you is to make your life easier in sure. any way. Sure, in a year relationship, fine. Uh, no, married almost that 10 years. No, that would have worked. No, it would not have. Did you wrap it? What? I said, <laughs> did, did I wrap it? Yeah, of course. You put it in a red bag. Yeah, yeah. You did you wrap it? You, you didn't listen to the show, buddy. Yeah, the whole no, thing. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just, I just have this image of like Christian announcing to the crew, like afterwards he made the announcement that the show's five days a week now, and then he pulls y'all into the conference room and is like, all right, everybody's personal lives get have to get there. more interesting. It's the it's Roka, the you're going to have to have some shit stolen oh. from you. Get more Roxy, interesting. Roxy, get kidnapped in your history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get those, lost on the freeway. Those are the great gems, but be more interesting. Let's not bullshit anybody. I'll tell you the big thing I wanted to talk about today was the fact that I was going to take my family to Petco, and that was going to be our big adventure because, <laughs> because my daughter our youngest Petco. daughter yeah my youngest Why daughter Petco? my youngest daughter is obsessed with birds oh, right no she's obsessed with birds she's wanting to have bird bird it's every every five seconds bird wow. right so let's take the kid to the fucking petco right and we'll, go, and, we'll, and we'll go to petco and we'll look at the birds it'll be great both my kids got sick we we're quarantined in that fucking house and we're sitting around and it's like it's like what kind of shit life do you have when the best thing you have going on is petco and you can't get there and it's two blocks away <laughs> 
It's two fucking blocks away. You were saved. And I, and I can't go to Petco. I mean, my big trip was to Bristol Farms. That was my big trip over the weekend. I know you like going to Bristol Farms. Sure. I mean, all we do this family is fucking eat and shop. It's like <laughs> it's like we try to go to Petco to watch the fucking birds in the cage. Can't even get to the fucking no, zoo. Honestly, Christian, that was the best thing that ever happened because <laughs> we, we went we went to Petco as a family when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, here we go. And we went to visit yeah. the birds. And we bought a bird, and it was <laughs> the actual worst decision that oh, we ever yeah. made. See, we're not going to buy shit. You would yeah. have. We're not going to. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, we're not. You I'm end telling up you. buying a bird. It is the, look, there's the San Diego Zoo, then there's the LA Zoo, <laughs> and then there's fucking Petco. All right, that's those are the three things. And we, were, we couldn't even get to the Dollar Store Zoo I, yesterday. No, I'm telling you, because somebody makes a puppy dog, guys, mm -hmm. and then you buy the bird. I think you're going to buy your daughter a bird. The thing will be dead in a week. It, I'm not saying I'm not arguing that point. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not getting a bird. My bird I ruined a, my life. Yeah, it listen, ruined listen, my life. If puppy dog <laughs> eyes and all that shit were, I have three dogs and a horse right now. Okay, so there's, 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 there's puppy dog eyes don't mean shit to me Could anymore for ten years. No, I'll, I'll put I money on it. Coming. Yeah. Burr, oh Roxy's lost again. I Burr. see it <laughs> 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 Put a parrot in the car for Roxy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right turn! Right <laughs> turn! <laughs> you want your boss beat again, bro? We had a coffin. You guys had bus. a parrot here, it'd be the most oh. annoying parrot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, parrot, win a coffin, bro! Win a coffin, bro! Yeah, win a coffin, bro. <laughs> yeah Ro Ro Roxy's, Roxy's parrot just be the whole time. What? No, I'm stoned. Second high! Second high! <laughs> bro! Oh, suck my dick! Suck my dick! Bro! <laughs> I, I actually, you guys, you are so mean because I have legitimate uh, PTSD from my bird. That's so my, my bird crushed my life. You know how my dad is like this rock and roll free spirit person, so he refused to clip the wings, bir the bird's wings, or oh. or mm. to have a cage for the bird. So the bird just flying just around the house, lived shitting all over the place. House for Terrorizing seven you? years, oh my this God. bird just lived in the house. <laughs> the it had name? a room. It went into the sunny. It oh. went into the room at night. It, a whole fucking room. It was <laughs> oh, a whole no. fucking room. And then it would fly around the house. And, every and if you walked into the room, would it attack you? Oh, it, the bird hated me. And Good. finally, my, <laughs> we had a cleaner who murdered the bird. Oh, oh Jesus. She, she, murdered came, it. she came and she poisoned the bird Ow. and we found the bird dead because she was so annoyed having to clean up the poop Ow. for what? seven years. Yeah, you hit that wall, man. She murdered the bird. <laughs> well, no, no, you hit that wall? How about you quit? <laughs> Look, you know, how about you quit? Awful. My people hit the wall. We hit the wall. When we hit the wall. Oh, dead. Speaking of which, <laughs> it's dead. Whatever's in the way. Now what? You, yeah, I know true. you may have heard it on the show, Cody. Do you have the uh, the the uh, Rose Campoyo song? Uh, one con leche. I think the Rose Campoyo song might be better. It's it, it's it, it's it's just catchy. It's good. It's, it's good. really <laughs> catchy. Listen. You heard this shit, really? No. no. Is, he, is he really saying stuff? Oh, con leche. Oh, con leche. Oh, Café con leche. That's great. It's it? catchy. I'll tell you, when it's I was good. driving yeah. up to wine country for our vacation, yeah. I, I was singing chicken and beer, chicken yeah, and Cody. beer, to where finally <laughs> my fiance looks at me and goes, What the fuck is that? Yeah, let's put it in. I go, Sorry. Sorry, we'll put an Ellis's head. Nothing has legs like go. that. Yep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Uh huh. That's good stuff. That reminds me of that. That's the best. Yeah. That was in my head the, the entire drive to where it, it finally has. She said, like, We have to put on something else. I think else. Thrawn is our new uh, song guy. He's like, You know, David B won the first contest. Thrawn, what's it? Thrawn, what, can you zoom in on his name? Thrawn uh, 2K5. Thrawn 2K5 has uh, nice. he's got five songs up there. He's got the Roxy Blues, the Rose Compoyo, Clickbait with the Louder Vox. That's the one that, that, that worked. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's 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 kind of our it's new good. song. It crushing so it. Good. Yeah. yeah. Chicken and beer sounds like it could have been like a Skinner, uh, yep. Molly Hatch mm, kind great. of tune. Good call. They, they, they play mm. that at the Double Deuce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and and it's and it's like the name is Roxy. <laughs> and it's like no matter where I'm doing shows now in the comments. Chicken, chicken and, and beer. beer. Yeah. Just chicken and beer. Yeah. Speaking of the comments, uh, and speaking of like the dumbest uh -oh, trolls of all time, oh, okay. no, 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 I didn't do this. And I saw that Col uh, Collider even responded to it because it was just like, you can't, we cannot win. Like no matter what we do, we cannot <laughs> what win. Now? Somebody, yeah. Somebody posted, they're like, 
Oh my God, I'm so pissed. It's so inappropriate that they have a picture of Louis C.K. on the wall. Oh, right. I saw that. Oh, yeah. Moron. Oh my God. They thought it was Snap. They thought it was Snap. Nothing like Louis C.K. I have no idea what they thought, but they were livid and it was just like. K. Like, no, they thought uh, they thought it was Schnapp. Why do you think they thought, they thought it was Schnapp? I think that, that they thought it was Van Damme? No. This? No. No. I don't oh, know. Oh, they thought it was that? I don't know what yeah. they thought it was, but either way, the dummies. I have no idea what they thought, but it's not here, so it's just like, you can't win. Right. <laughs> Who, Dennis must have responded to it, because they, I love... It just responded saying, huh? I love... Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Uh, what I love when Dennis actually gets p- uh, pissed off because it's like your dad that never gets angry. Yo, but right. when he does, right. just get oh out of the way. Right. Right. And like, there's there, there's tons of comments out there, obviously, that people will, will respond right away. And Dennis usually takes the high ground. But when you get... Like, Dennis will go after you. Mm-hmm. When, it's and when he the does, quiet one. It's, it's so much fun to, to watch when oh. he does. I'm sure he's stoked about that. He, he, I'm, look, he's he's very witty. People don't really mm. Dennis is funny. Very, yeah. Dennis, Dennis is very. Dennis funny, yeah. can throw in because the thing is, he sh- Dennis will come in sometimes. Just and he's very quiet, and he's just uh, even he, he kind of talks like this. Yeah. yeah, he's funny. He just doesn't have the desperate need for attention that we all right. Do. And mm-hmm. the thing is, when he hits, he sometimes true. you'll be sitting at lunch with Dennis, and he hits you with some one-liners, yeah. and I'm on the floor. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 My, my favorite is when he's going at somebody on Twitter. Yeah, that's my because he, he rarely Dennis. does it, but when he does it, yeah, it's destruction well, city. God, you're just need, sitting back enjoying. This. We need a soundbite of pissed off Dennis. It's very hard to get. Oh, it's, it's a, like seeing a unicorn. Oh yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> we're gonna try to like egg it out of him, bring him on the show, and just try to get one. Now, I don't want to piss him off on purpose, but I, I mean, all you got to do is just kind of throw him down the comment section and you know put him down the Game of Thrones yeah. episode comment Ooh, section yeah. and they'll go nuts. <laughs> yeah. Little insider. Yeah, it was the Game of Thrones when everybody was going at yeah. whatever the, the first iteration of yeah. a Where is Dennis? Game is Dennis of Thrones here? coverage. It was Dennis, like, yeah. Dennis was pissed. It was funny. Do we He's have, here. Yeah, is he's he here? Can we, let's, do you want me to go get him? I don't know if we have an extra mic. Do we have, oh, he, I give to him. He, he, can, can, take he can take mine. Well, no, why don't you put him, see, if, see oh. if he can go, yeah, see if, get him and see if he can go into the into the room with with Cody. I just want to, I'm going to quiz him about the, what piss, I'm going to ask him what pisses them off in the meantime game of thrones right, right. What, what else what do you think what, it what is I'd, I'd say it's game of thrones uh game, saying that gamers, gamers just get right what about sure. gamers well he he runs like fake the, gamers he runs the gaming channel now yeah so like th- what he's probably run into uh is a, a lot of people saying that it's it's because it's a new channel and whether they're posers or whatever i don't know that's what i was to guess I mean, maybe dc versus marvel probably when you get like, shill stuff yeah. and, and all that stuff. Kind of what was his take on the last jedi was he a last jedi fan i think he was in the middle okay yeah i think he was like yeah it's Okay. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I no, think that's that, not allowed. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> you either have to love yeah. it or not. We'll talk about episode nine, by the way, a little bit later. Is there a title? I think we're getting it soon. Because um, of Anthony Daniels? <laughs> no, I mean, no, we've been talking Every about week, that. Anthony Daniels is just like, no, guys, can, really, can he stop now? I don't even think he knows what he's posting. Yeah. I think he's just having fun. Yeah, it's, I think so, too. Know. And he's probably trolling. He doesn't purpose. realize the stakes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Stop it, Anthony. Speaking of steak, I tell you, I did make uh, my wife those steaks. And you that, did? That went over yeah, well. So that's he's sweet. Going, he's going in there? Okay, good. All right. For Tell, let me Day. let me know. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me know when we get Dennis uh, ready to go. I like the He's putting on the headphones. He's okay. getting there. Yeah. And guys, yeah. Oh. we have Dennis. Dennis. Oh. Dennis. Oh. Dennis. Oh. Dennis. Uh, how are you, sir? Good. Good. Um, listen. So we were talking about uh, <laughs> right before you walked in. We were talking about how uh, what I said was I think that you're one of the most underrated. Uh, comedy people that we have here we too you and I have been out to lunch many times and there and the thing is even though sometimes you, you you're down to business and you, you can come off as a serious dude but you hit us sometimes with one-liners and knock us off our chairs and the other thing I said was that you don't get pissed off often but when you do it reminds me of like a, an angry father that you don't want to see pissed off and then when you do and normally that happens when trolls will come after you um, but not often when they do because you let it slide but there's certain comments that really piss you off and we've talked about some of them. I want to see if we accurately. What are the ones that really get you kind of pissed off? It's weird. It's usually something that normally, you know, you would think like, okay, the the racist stuff or whatever. But I mean, that that's that doesn't bother me as much because it's Ignorant very people. Well, yeah, it's very yeah. easy to see how stupid someone is. You right. know, it's like right. very evident. It's usually when someone misinterprets something I say. Right. They're like, give me an example. Yeah. Anything. It's like so little. Like especially something like. You said this about a certain movie, and it's like, but I didn't say that. I think uh, the most recent one was someone had claimed that I said that um, that the that critics hated uh, comic book and superhero movies, and I was like, I was like. And he said that I had said that, and we had all said that. I was like, no, we we didn't. <laughs> we, we really didn't. We said we said something. We said to the effect that 
when it comes to awards, they kind of get there's a bias right. against them. But that I never said critics don't like right. them because it's it's in the proof. You go look at Rotten Tomatoes. Right. You, you just don't like, you don't like when people bend the facts. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's or, what pisses you off. Yeah. And Game of Thrones when it, uh, comments though those those will get you because of the book stuff, right? Uh, yeah, if so, I, I, I hate to, what, what is that called? What would you call it? Kind of like a snobbery yeah. that, that yeah. people have if they've, like, something like with Game of Thrones, if they've read the books and they're like, well, I totally knew that was coming. You don't know. You're stupid. It's like, yeah, you read the book. You know right, what I mean? Right, That's right, like right. it's like reading the answers so to just, a test right. and saying, "Ah, I, I'm smarter than you." Well, Dennis, like, what what kind of tactics do you use? Have you tried Christian's win a goldfish tactic, where when trolls come at you, you just respond with uh, a, a uh, gif? No, I usually re actually retweet their stupid tweets because <laughs> yeah. um, yeah. usually they're pretty dumb, and yeah. then I go after them and I tell them like you know why they're wrong. So. Right. Can I read one of these? Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay, so uh, this guy, I don't want to give him any credit, so he said he said I don't, he responded back. Then I said, I don't know, dot, 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 I have pubes, right? Dennis yeah. responds, okay, guess instead of worrying about other people playing video games, you and your pubes should go back to complaining <laughs> for two dozen tweets about your movie tickets app blocking you. <laughs> this, I mean, Dennis yeah. is the best. I like when Dennis locks in. But Dennis, yeah. last what does I have pubes mean? It he was trying to say he was a more like manly more than man? Dennis. Yeah, like more I, pubes, the bigger the man? Yeah. No, no, like he, he was pubes. claiming that he... Uh, <laughs> He he was so grown up he didn't play video games like yeah. it, like a grown up person wouldn't play video. Then why games. is he on the Why is he on the video game channel? <laughs> yeah. no, it Boom. was on Twitter. He, uh, well, I uh, tweeted something I forgot what it was. I something I about video. Yeah, games. Yeah, you get that yeah. shit all the time about yeah, yeah. wrestling and stuff too. Um, all right, last thing I want to. But ask like, you. isn't it better just to do something healthy? Like you're not going out there and you're attacking people. You're just playing video Listen, games. People, people are damaged. You don't yes. know why they're damaged. Oh yeah. Um, uh, hey, pubes. Look, Dennis. The last <laughs> thing I want to ask you to um, when when we you're and I started, my client clearly has <laughs> pubic <laughs> hair. What are we doing here? When you and I started working together in 2014 <laughs> for AMC, yeah. I remember right around the, the well, it was it was right after. It was probably two years removed from the first season of uh, True Detective. Um, and then you were a huge fan of the, of the first season. Yes. And then you and I were both very excited in 2015 when season two came out. And, uh, and it, was a, it was minus Colin Farrell, a real stink bomb, I, I would say. Yeah. But season three, you and I haven't really talked about. I haven't watched it yet. You haven't watched it yet? No. Oh, my God, yeah, dude. I, I, why not? Because I did the whole okay, I did the whole cord cutting thing. It's, it's hard to explain. So I had, HB, I had like my cable package. I had HBO, Showtime. Like I had everything, right? right? And then I cut the cord. I have the Hulu TV now. And so when I cut the cord, I didn't have resubscribe to HBO yet. So I'm waiting because I was waiting. I'm like, right. I think I'm going to wait till Game of Thrones or maybe I'll wait till True Detective season three is like over so oh, I can so subscribe and I can, and I can just watch I all of them. I so. So far, I mean, I it's think so good. It's, I'm caught up now. It is. I'm a half an hour behind. Oh, but uh, oh. I know. I know. Oh, you don't know. I, yeah, I heard no. it was. Uh, I'm great. I don't know. I'm, I'm up on I'm, it. Yeah. I'm up on it. I'm, I, uh, a, I'm a half an hour behind because the baby was sick last night. I was watching. It was the middle of it. Baby's. Oh boy, it's getting had good. Had to bail. Yeah. Do you ever just think about ignoring the baby? <laughs> don't have kids. <laughs> Don't, I, don't I am so not ready. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would just be like, chill. Right. Just wait until it's over. Kid's got snot coming out of her face, <laughs> fever of 125. The, ro like, the yeah. Roxy tactic of parenting is just put the kid in a room with a bird. Right. Whichever one comes out, <laughs> right. that's, the, that's, that's what you raise. Hey, the kid's crying. Is, is, is the cleaning lady still available? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice, Roxy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not, not a bad tactic. Oh, but so, like, I, I, got, I didn't say it. You did. Why do I get the arm? I was I was in, I was in a hypothetical weirdo world. Thank you. <laughs> On the line now we have Roxy's cleaning lady. So is it true you <laughs> poisoned can. the bird? Oh, we had See. a big falling out with Velma. Velma. <laughs> I wonder why. Was she, she was murdering animals? No, it was really This bad. is season four. Right, well, let's, let's, <laughs> that, real quick, De Dennis has a lot to work, a lot of work to do. Dennis, listen. So thank you, thank you very much. And you should watch. Let me know once you start work, yes. watching. I want to hear what you think. Definitely, definitely. Thanks, bro. All right, later. All right. Uh, I just watched. Uh, I just binged all of season one of True Detective because I'd never seen it before. It's great, isn't it? Oh, so, you, you, you didn't want. You're right. When we spoke, the other yeah, day, you, you hadn't seen. You it. inspired me and, to like go back because I had I, I'd seen the first two episodes of it like three times, trying to get into it, and it just. It was like, ah, oh, it's just not going to hook in me. And then I got it, man. I it's got great, it. Isn't it. And it was yeah, great. Season I, amazing. I, this season is is arguably 
as good as season one. I'm liking it so much better. I did what you did. I hadn't watched season one mm-hmm. until a couple of months ago. Yeah. I watched it. The hype had been too real for me. Mm. I liked it. I really liked it. But I didn't think it was one of the best shows of all time, like everybody had talked about. And so going into this one, knowing that season two was a boner. Did I you was, watch two? Or no, I didn't. I, just I fell off, that. too, yeah, after the nothing. first episode. So yeah. I, there were no expectations going into this one. And I'm really liking it. I like it a lot better than and one. And the way Ooh. that, uh, if Christian hasn't seen it, that the... The similarities between three and one, we'll say, I think are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I, I, I saw what you're talking about. Woo! Yeah, I saw what you're talking about. Uh, oh, that, boy, it's that's, good. that's past yeah. half an hour. That was so yeah. cool. Yeah. It's all right. There's no spoilers. Yeah. Right. The, right. uh, the right. dinosaur cameo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was no. amazing. When the donkey came out, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, speak, speaking of with dinosaurs, too, I'm so far removed from video games, it's unbelievable. Um, my daughter has a Nintendo Switch. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So she started playing Mario Odyssey. Yeah. She's like she, and I remember. I remember it took me back so many years. Remember playing video games with my myself, and then saying, "Dad, come play with me." And he was atrocious. I just reverse roles. Yeah, <laughs> like she gave me this, and she's like, "I need you to help me out." I'm like, "This is this. You're doing yourself no favors right now. <laughs> just figure out how to beat the dinosaur by yourself. You don't need me." I Josh, just, Josh. yeah, I just Josh. became a snack for this thing within ten seconds on the board. You're <laughs> one of those like, people who calls it Mario. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, Our, my dad says, used to do that too. Says the girl, yeah. what were you calling the singer? Halsey. Halsey? <laughs> says the Halsey? Uh, are you kidding me? I, from the East Coast, one I'm East Coast person. And by the way, Boston. the Mario thing too. You're not the only one who gives me shit on it. My seven year old, anytime I go, you know, put on Mario, she'll say, It's Mario, Dad. Well, he says You're not in Queens it. anymore. It's, it's me, Mario. Mario. It's Mario. He it's, doesn't. It's yeah. me, Mario. Bo- Boba Fett. You want to start getting into some stuff? <laughs> yeah, his name's Boba Fett. Yeah. No, no, it isn't. It's According Boba. to me, I think Boba and Boba way far more removed than Mario and Mario. When Chewie growls at Han to let yeah. him know Boba Fett's there, Chewie says Boba Fett. Oh, sure. And we'd see it's converted right. from Wookiees into Boba Fett. Right. Mm. And the same reason I'll get it from them too. Every time I say I don't say it fat, I say it slow enough when I say Jeremy Johns. I say Jeremy Johns, and they go, "Yeah, here's Christian saying Jeremy again." That's me with Jeremy. Marshall. Jeremy. I say Jeremy. It's, it's, it's just faster. <laughs> Jeremy Johns. I say, hey, it's Jeremy Johns. They're a lazy talker. Whatever. Yeah. My dad used to say Mario, and whenever he said Mario, we would all die off. laughing. No, we're, we're like, what the hell? Is, where is this guy from? It's, I mean, what's the difference? He would throw in a, he'd throw in an <laughs> R, know. like the right, washcloth. You know, right. Are you, are, where are you at? Is this? it Heedy or Heady? I don't know. No, no. Uh, I don't know. I'm just joking. I'm just saying. Heedly. What's funny is you sound like Mr. Incredible in Incredibles 2. What's with the new mat? What's I mean, with this, what's with out. the new mat? Just play the game the way it's supposed to be played. That's right. Christian, how do you say that band of mutants that all goes to Professor X's School. The X Men. <laughs> <laughs> Christian calls him X Men. X Men. <laughs> X Men. In real, like. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell Cody got a bunch of his sound bites. I, I'm so used to having a hat on my head. I went to adjust it just now. Um, yeah. Why do you wear a hat so often? You just like it? I like my hat. I like my, my, my ripped hat. Even though they're not really... But you have all your hair. What are you going to do? Be happy about I like, it? I like my hat. No, it's nice. I just, you know, you, sometimes you think somebody's hiding something. What are you going to do? You're not hiding anything, though. R- Riley certainly isn't hiding anything. Yeah. No, He's Riley's got the yeah, best hair. But he doesn't always wear a hat. I, yeah. I wear hats a lot, yeah. and it's mostly because, especially now, I need a haircut. Yeah, I'll tell you, I don't even want to deal that, with that's it. That's why last week mm-hmm. couldn't. Ca- I mean, I had Wolverine hair. Yeah, like, that was, yeah that's it was, what it I'm was, getting. It was awesome. You've always wanted me to, to grow it. I, I mean, want you I to grow your hair like was, Motley Crue style. It it won't go down. I, it will only go I, out. Please oh, yeah. do that. It will t- become like get wings, oh, and they keep going, and then it goes like this. It's like a chia pet that just never stops. Are there pictures? Is there photographic evidence of what your hair will do when untamed? God, I gotta have something. Gotta somewhere. be something. Yeah. I would. Yeah. I mean, I would. Yeah. I. How much do I have to pay you to do that? Because like, I really, I really want to see what like four months of. of it's not a payment. Hair it's not, not a payment thing. It's. It, it, this is what, what is you're it? great at. What? It's a bet. bet. It's a yeah. bet. Yeah. Make a bet. No, I ain't, I'm doing He's that not going to do it. But I'm I'm not not I tried this before. There's, I've tried no, that there, before. There's nothing that you're no, so you confident pay. in. No, he, I know that. See, no, I go after. I go after. I know he's he's getting married soon. I know that any any any, any dollar counts. <laughs> yeah, I'm, what, I'm already uh, in trouble it. with my oh. fiance that I need to cut this because we were when we were. She's like, "What is this?" I'm like, right. "Yeah, I need a haircut." She's like, "Go get a fucking haircut." How, how, what much, do you how much do you think Julie would let you do it for? Uh, I don't know how much we need a lot of money nine, for the wedding. So nine dollars. Um, yeah, no, 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 
not nine. Maybe. Ten? Uh, eight. Ten. All eight. right. Eight. 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 I, I, I got it. I didn't, I didn't want to have to play this card, what? but I'm going to have to do it, <laughs> and I think you will agree it's worth it. Sure. So Riley has to grow his hair out uh-huh. Uh-huh. from now For four months. until December. Whoa. No. And what he gets in return is he gets A to be car. your plus one oh. to the Star Wars Episode Nine premiere. He's not gonna, he's not gonna do that. Ooh. Would you do that? For, you do that all the way over? I can't. Do, well, do, well, do, do, okay, wait, we'll, we'll start in August. You no, can start no, in August. About, that gives you time to soften the he, blow. So he's not, allowed, he's not allowed to cut his hair for the premiere. I wouldn't do that to him. August? No, he put it in a nice ponytail. No, it no, no. Fantastic. Uh, I would you do. think I can make a pony? You have no idea. I know you want to see it. I'm just, I'm just making him think even harder when I describe. It goes like we just goes out, out. Like the, out and it, up. It's like it's it like uh, what's the Dragon like, Ball Z? It will be like Wolverine. Hold on. I'll, okay. I'll show How about you. you let him cut it before? Yeah, yeah, right now, let's do that. Yeah. Look at that. It's yeah. like, God, look at that. That's a head of hair. But what yeah. do you want from Christian? There's got to be something you want no. bad enough that he could do if he loses the bet. Well, what about, no, what about if Riley, Ellis is on to something here? What if it's just four months? And you can be my guest to episode oh, nine. Yeah, oh, and, and he's allowed to cut it. He doesn't have to wear the hair to the premiere. He no, can, no, no. I'm saying hair we, we, we start next it. week. Yeah. We start next week. Right. So right. I don't like that. I can't. No? I can't do it because it's so much. Get it's Julie so on the phone. Unruly. Get Julie on the phone. <laughs> we got to run this. We're gonna run what this by I her. Buy your admission to the Star Wars theme park. <laughs> Ooh, I'll think about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like a hundred bucks? No, what? it's I. I already have well, some tickets that. to Disneyland, and I just uh, it's just it's it's annoying, and I don't want I don't want to do it. You know, it's so damn annoying. The, I'll do the admission to the park and the premiere. Oh, Jesus, we'll, we'll revisit I this. I don't want to do it. All right, four months. But no. Okay. Okay. Final offer. I got to get a haircut now because I got I got an event that I got to go to and to do this nice and you know you get you get admission to the theme park and the Avengers premiere and the Avengers premiere (laughs) and you get episode nine and you get all the stuff that Christian and I stole from Roka the other day. (laughs) (laughs) Sons of bitches! You punk kids! You were at the hood. (laughs) It was the the hood. hood, It was good. It was good. I mean, it's like the Avengers premiere. Yeah, I'll just go see the movie opening night. You know, I've been to I've been to the Infinity War. I know what I'm missing. What a spoiled. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, if I was yeah. a kid and somebody yeah. said, grow your hair out for four months to go see all my favorite superheroes team up, right. I would grow my hair yeah. out. You don't understand, though, the, the feeling. I mean, it's like literally weighs me down if I'm not getting a haircut. I just want to time. see what it looks oh. like. Every time I know you, you do. describe it, it makes us want to see it more. I know. I know. I know. It's, it's, uh, you grew a I'm, full beard out with that? Oh, Jesus. Would it mean <laughs> giving up getting laid for all of those months? It, it, it <laughs> might. It, it, like, she might. Yeah, she would be like, oh, what if no, she fell I can't. Mama? No, she wouldn't fall Would it be the that. craziest podcast done in history if we actually just like kidnapped Riley and took <laughs> him, him? Just throw <laughs> food at him. <laughs> we fed him. Yeah. He's got she's got Netflix. He can peg push. him in the head with bread <laughs> and his hair toilet. grows. He yeah, can't it, cut his hair. You've yeah. seen chia pets, right? Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. exactly that's what, what it is. And uh, the throwing the food, it would just like stick there You're like right. Velcro. <laughs> Plant tomatoes in it. <laughs> 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 it's like you got an apple tree there. You yeah. got you got a piece of baguette stuck in there. No. I like what you're wow. doing with the sound bites. You got to turn them up though, Cody. What, Do you what think that, that somebody one? could grow plants out of their hair? He could. If if, if we like, yeah, kidnap them and right, tie so wait, them down and well, put what's on the table? So what's, the the, so what's on the table right now? We got st- we got the Star Wars premiere. Okay. We got uh, we it's got probably the Star not Wars. Not going to happen. There's like, I mean, it, Dude, unless you're going to pay for my wedding, you know, whole thing. Yeah. Because I really don't. How much that wedding? I don't play with that kind of stuff. You know, it's like I have. To, I have to like be on camera sometimes that I when maybe I'm interviewing somebody. Yeah, I have to go know to what's events. Going. Yeah, but you then. could say the reason you could say I'm doing I'm growing my hair out for a bet. I'll buy a t shirt that says that. Yeah. What, what so, happened know. to the race to the altar fund? Well, I, I think it's I think that's over with I think Roga went went the road of just first just taking it easy and, and get and living with somebody first. Is that correct? Is that accurate? Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh wait, we got an update. Yeah. What a I mean, we is, might be married tomorrow. I don't there, know. Is there something new going on? There's conversations about going to the Justice of Peace tomorrow morning. Is this before, true? Before we head to London. <laughs> what? <Yeah>. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. What? What? That's all right. It's I, a, a, see, wait. I have to cut my hair to go to his wedding. It's a free yeah. country. Yeah. It's a free country. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't. You're burying the lead here. You buddy. still need a witness. When, when? When did this conversation? Does this happen? I'm, I'm Are you available I'm, tomorrow morning? Of course, I'm available this, tomorrow morning. I could think of no better witness. Did this than Mark happen Ellis. in the alley or, or after <laughs> the alley? Right? When, when did this happen? When did you guys decide that you were going to? The fact that we shared the anger about the stolen things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew she was the one. It was, <laughs> is, is this a real thing that you guys are really yeah, talking we, we tomorrow? Yeah, she, she. Why are you kicking it around? Why isn't it official? And why I was going to ask her in London. Oh, but which we'll talk about in a second. She won't. But like, um, but but then I text her and I said. She goes, I don't know why you want to, I don't care. Let's just do it. I don't care. Like, wow. I don't need the big anything. You don't even need to get me a ring. Let's just go down to the gym. Why are you make such a big deal out of it? 
And I was like, wow, okay. She's like, yeah, babes, I love you. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. I know that. And that was I don't it. need a ring to tell me that. This happened last night? No, this happened over the weekend over on the texts. Weekend. We were texting. On text? Yeah. Wow. So, what a twist. It was so, a huge twist. I mean, look, I'm, I'm in to be the witness. I am a uh, lifetime at a Justice of the Peace scenario. Right. I am two for three. Okay. Oh, as far as the couple like staying Same together, together. Right. yeah. So you kind of need mm. this more than he does. Uh, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of. If, if you look at a justice of the peace situation, Roxy, this is out not out. this is not a free throw shooting situation. Like you, you, you're never going to be 85, 90 percent. Right. You're just looking at baseball numbers. Yeah, so yeah. in your terms, Ted Williams, right? He mm -hmm. batted 400. So I'm batting six. I'm batting 66 right now. So. If I Pretty can, good. yeah. So even if, if God forbid it does work, I'm still at fifty percent. I'm right. happy. Well, yeah, that's not good for him. Five hundred's easier to get to than uh, than what you want. Six, six, six. I don't, I'm, I don't know. The number of the beast. I don't know. Six. You son of a bitch. Six, six. Um, Keep going. You son of a bitch. Don't you make Iron your Maiden. wedding about me. Don't you make your wedding about you. It's all, about it's, you. Uh, if it's I'm showing up, us. it's going to be about me. It's always about <laughs> just, You'll get a good what, speech out of it. It'll just have a lot of jokes. That's true. <laughs> Roka, what percentage chance is this happening tomorrow, now that we're talking? Um, maybe nine. 50 to 60. 50 to 60 percent. 50 to 60. Right, Let me so, see if yeah, Anthony yeah, yeah. Daniels has tweeted anything on, about Roka's wedding. That son of a bitch. He wouldn't know what to tweet about. Well, why don't you map this out for me, because I'm I'm very confused now and intrigued, Roka. I heard some things in the wind, and something shut up, Anthony. Yeah, well, getting God, I'm so sick of this. <laughs> they should take his Twitter away from him, Anthony Davis. Well, he's not doing anything that's oh, hurting he's, anybody. He's getting people all excited for so nothing. What? To make himself the center of attention is disgusting. All right, yeah. yeah. It's disgusting. Come on. Let the guy be the a moron. The guy's been a goddamn yeah. droid <laughs> since 1977. <laughs> right. I've he been... speaks six million forms of communication. <laughs> Twitter's one of them. Yeah. He's having some fun. I, I'm, I'm Team I, Kenny I, Baker, man. I I'm think, Team Kenny I Baker. I think he should shut up, but it's like... Thank you. But, but it's... I don't care. It's I was kidnapped. Roka said nothing. This guy tweeted. Something broken is disgusting. <laughs> it's more current. It's more current. Disgusting. It's more, right. Of course. Yeah. Right. Uh, I would not uh, want you to this. be kidnapped. Right? What, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So listen, map, map this out to me because I'm a bit confused. What so, do you want to know? Same. All right. You're going to. When's your last day as far as. Today. Do you not, okay, you're out of the office tomorrow. Yeah, we're leaving tomorrow for right. London. You're leaving for London tomorrow. So <laughs> not, like not, you, not you and the lady. On the no, way no, to the no. airport? No, so he so he and Matt Nost, who do the Top Ten show, which started on the Schmoes No Network. Uh -huh. um, which they, you've been on, Mark Ellis. Thank you. Yeah. You have been on. I, 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 Mark I, I, Riley, you have been on. Would you like me to continue your plug? No, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been on. <laughs> sorry, Dad. I'm confused. Why do you say that like I was asked on, but I wasn't? He's yelling at me because there was one time I had to rush back to the family. Matt Nost never let me live it down. I didn't. He called me out on air for it that I was I supposed I forgot I was supposed to be on the show and then so I've never been asked back and I don't want to be on the show so listen, so, okay. so the, anyway but they are thanks for the plug Dad. you're welcome but they are but they are going to be what they've done very successfully so far is they've been they've been on the road they've been on the road already here in Los Angeles mm -hmm. a top 10 show and they've done very well um, and now they're taking it to London they're going to the UK amazing uh, what's the theater Roger? it's King's Place King's Place Theater it's 200, 200 seat theater. seats yeah we sold it out and uh, oh, it did sell out yeah it did sell okay, out good. eventually okay, good. Yeah, we got it to it uh, I think last week nice Maybe last week we got well, there you go. so top that's great, yeah. man. So go, it's see, very nice. go see the top ten. Uh, and where can they buy? Oh, they can't buy tickets anymore. But can they? So is yeah, it going to be available on audio. Yeah, it's going to be available on audio. Okay. So if you want to subscribe there, and you know, um, and we're we've, we're doing a live one in Chicago the same week of celebration mm -hmm. at Reggie's live that Thursday night. So, so Thursday night, okay. Yeah, so we'll be the opening act for the, uh, the Friday and Saturday weekend that you guys have Schmodown stuff and Ellis doing his night of comedy with it's his, with be, his buddies, I was so. in. Are you guys doing? Are you guys doing the? Uh, which room are you doing there? Um, um, the rock and roll one, I think, whatever that means. Matt usually handles that stuff, but because we're, it's, I, it's got a standing room of thirty people. Yeah, I, okay. Seats. So I was there because uh, I was checking out Reggie's for me because I'm doing it Friday, mm -hmm. and then we have the schmo down at the Athenium Saturday. What a weekend! And yeah. I was doing I was doing a college in Indiana uh, Saturday, and so I was like, well, I'm going to be in Indiana. I might as well fly in a day early, check Reggie's out. I was in that room, mm -hmm. uh, and it's awesome. Where yeah. are you guys going to be? So it's really well, it's really cool to have like all these like posters yeah. of like you know bands that have like played at Reggie's. It's, it, it, it's a cool vibe. Well, just to let everybody know, you're going to yes, be Roxy, well, you might be there. Are you going? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We, we don't it, know it, yet. It was announced. It was announced. So here, here's the thing. So we'll start We'll start with this. I'm upset. I love that my co-host doesn't know this, but we'll, we'll talk about this. So 
odd couple, which is Mark Andreco and Jeff Snyder. They've yes. been on a team. My together. boy. Uh, don't, don't, don't you dare. <laughs> this, is not, this is not Collider Live. No, this it is. is Schmodown, yes, it is. and I pay attention to Schmodown. Yeah. Fine. Well, the Scream Queens, as you know, are playing yes. in the undercard Saturday night, which is live. You guys can watch nice. that. It'll be on the, uh, if you want to go, you can, if you're a $10 patron, you Schmodown, get it. Schmodown, thrown down. Throw down, yeah. So if you want to, if you, if you don't, if you don't want to be patron, a patron, uh, you can get it for two ninety nine. You can watch it. It's, it's Kalinowski versus Cushing for the Inner Geekdom Championship in the main <laughs> event. Five big Ooh. rounds. Five big rounds. Who's now, your money on? On that one, you know, a year ago, I'm p- I'm picking Cushing like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know anymore. I think it's I think it's up in the air because mm-hmm. I've never seen this someone. Is a, this is about a 50-50 yeah. match, as far as I'm concerned. Mike studies yeah. as hard as Ben Bateman. I think Ben Bateman is the hardest studier that we've ever seen in the league. Mm-hmm. Um, I think my life was destroyed for it. Oh boy! Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I, <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah. speaking of that bird, I know it was all me. Uh, <laughs> and then, Cal- and then, where's Velma when yeah. I need her? But, but Kalinowski, man. <laughs> hey Shmona. Ben, hey Ben, eat this. <laughs> I just imagine like Roxy is a little girl. She realizes if you get rid of something, just lock it just in a room. <laughs> so she just puts Ben in his room. Right. And all he has it's is like the next Jordan Peele movie. <laughs> Close, close. Riley, where's your partner? I don't know. I'm right. texting Roxy. But if you see my hair. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like that movie Old Boy. <laughs> Here's my hair. <laughs> ben was just locked in a room for 13 years. Yeah. And instead of karate, he just watched movies. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's like, he looks, like, he looks like Tom Hanks in Castaway. <laughs> All um, right, so it, it, I'll show you who's the bossy <laughs> son of a bitch. Right. Yeah. Well, anyway, so I. <laughs> <laughs> Kalinowski, oh, Kalinowski, oh, and, and Cushing's going to be a battle. So you can you can check that at Saturday night. This Saturday night, it will be um, the the event itself starts 5 p.m. PST. So that would be 8 p.m. Uh, for you East East Coast folks, and, and like, the undercard has, has Chicago implications. Correct. Yeah. So you mm-hmm. have the Odd Couple, which is Snyder and mm-hmm. Andreco, managed by Roxy. Thank you very right. much. Now they will be playing Haley Fouch and Kaylin, who they uh, the Scream Queens. Corrigan, yes, the, the Scream Queens. <laughs> and the winner of that match will play Who's the Boss, Mark oh. Riley Ooh. and Ben Bateman in Chicago. Boom. In front of the now 700 fans that have already bought tickets. Wow, there nice. are 200 tickets left for Chicago. That's it. It's and I was game. talking to the, the guy who promotes it. He said usually they go, they're going to go really fast. By the time we get it will be sold out eventually, mm-hmm. too. So let, make sure that you, if you're in Chicago Saturday night, uh, you can, and so many people are going to be there. So you, you can check that out for sure. And then Los Angeles fans, free for all, and now yeah. 40 competitors. 40. 40, co- 40 competitors. You had to because of all the people that had, had said they were going to make it, and we wanted to make sure the fans got the bet and enough bang for their buck, and okay. make sure that it moved with the right. Is that helping tickets? Yeah, so we're at two hundred tickets for that one. Um, that theater holds around seven hundred people. That's if we use the balcony. If we don't use the balcony, it holds 400 on the floor. We so, should use the balcony. What's up, L.A.? Yeah. Well, we'll What's see. up? I'm not worried about it, too, because this is, like I said, this is the last event we're doing in Los Angeles for a very long time. So we're going to have fun there for sure. We're going to do the free for all is going to be huge with, with all of us anyway. Now, the fans there, too, it's going to be it's going to be very exciting. If you have been to another Los Angeles event, though, I highly recommend going to this one. This theater is. It's huge. Yeah. This is yeah. It's the Globe Theater, downtown Los Angeles. It's Pretty damn great. It's a fan fantastic venue and if you think that i'm not up to date on schmodown Uh-oh. you got another thing coming okay. because i'm at least better than dummy over here what i do he sent out a confirmation email to everybody this weekend oh, about this about the, the timing tape. i yeah. saw this he sent I an saw email this. and 10 minutes later it's like sorry sorry it was the wrong time i yeah. did i did that on sorry it was <laughs> east coast, east coast time. time you know why i did that why did you do that because originally it was discussed that we were going to air it at 7 p.m pst so Thad had had sent me an email that I did not get oh. right beforehand, and he said, "No, no, I'm not blaming on, th- on Thad. He just he sent it to me, and he said, he goes, hey, should we do it at five instead because of the break in between and yeah. because of East Coast?' And then I so then he texted me, he's like, "Hey, did you get my email? I just suggested another time, and I looked at it, and I said, do I want to do it at seven or five? And I was like, you know what, it makes more sense. I don't want to keep the crew here, so I'll just write everybody back and let people know, hey, I sent out the wrong time. Mm-hmm. That was it. True story." Okay. It's true story. I'll accept it. It's it's 100 percent true. We we had a meeting about it that you were not a week ago. About what? We all talked about 5 p.m. That I was not at, and I was not on the phone. 
for that part. <laughs> and that's somehow our fault. <laughs> yeah, let me know what was discussed in the you meeting. You were on the, I called not for that, you. Yeah, not, not for that part you didn't. I, I called you. Okay. And you are maybe the worst speakerphone participant in a meeting ever. <laughs> <laughs> because when you have Christian on speakerphone in a meeting, especially in that conference room, great acoustics, it's like Christian, 30% of it is Christian talking, 70% are just weird random noises that sound like bodily functions. You it's, gotta mute I, it when you're I, not I, on the phone. I always you just hear like, mute. <laughs> really? You sound like a Gamorrean guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need exercise. That's <laughs> Like Tony Soprano in a bathrobe. Yeah, can you, you're seeing the South Park when they have like video gamers and they're just like, they're yeah. just like playing. It's like Wally. It's like I'm one of the Wally people. Can we yeah. go back for a second though? Because this all started because we were confused on Roka getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Went on a rabbit yeah. hole. Nice wrap around. All right. But like he thought we had moved on. I could tell he like stopped sweating. You wanted to go there. back? Yeah, because I still don't get what's happening. That's a genius of a Christian. Is that he will take somebody's <laughs> marital marital turn bliss into a and, and turn it into a. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> if you like events, speaking of <laughs> well, I started. I actually started with top ten. I, 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 yeah. I was going to go. Roxy, Roxy threw a grenade in the middle, but I was going to go right back. I was going to come back to your announcement. Yeah, well, we can say that for after the we'll break. Do it. Right. I'm sure I did. All right, listen, but I am happy blood? to be the justice of the peace. Yeah. Don't ask me because I'm not going to. I'm not going to film any. I'm not going to Instagram. This is not a podcast bit. But if I'm, you know, if I'm, ava- I, I'm available. Spotify so still a thing. If you need. No, no, no. We're getting you, you're a witness. We'll put Christian on speakerphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take? <laughs> say, I'm, forget it. Say, <laughs> how many different kinds of chips are you crunching on during this meeting? Nine. Plug the show on the twenty first. <laughs> Brack? <laughs> All right. Brack, you well, get married, Brack? Take, take, <laughs> oh, my God. Do you, Roka, take this woman to be your lovely yeah. wedded wife for all eternity, uh, including March 23rd <laughs> at the Globe oh, Theater? Oh, she already knows about that one. Oh, we started yeah. prepping over the about, week. About free for all? Oh, yeah, we started prepping. Nice. We got a... Uh, what do you call those? Yeah. The, what did I wear? The, what did I wear? Those blindfold yeah. things? Well, so I announced you in it. I announced yeah. you in it. I announced. I, I'll announce one person. Mark Riley will also be in the free for all. Yes, I yeah. will. Well, that's I, right. I announced uh, Andrew Guy was going to be in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see if there's another. Someone we'll be else. we'll be announcing it. Yeah, I announced so. Dan Merle. We yeah. still be I announced that for sure. Um, I don't know if I want to give any. I announced Bibiani would be in it. And I'll announce the bibs. Lon Harris and Ethan Irwin will also be in the free for all. Nice. Those are two Ooh, more names. Good for lord. Me. So there you go. There's if you majority. You got some vagina. Of course, I don't want to give. You can't a, give any. I don't want to give away. I don't want to give it away. Can't give I don't want to tell you. I don't want because there's some people that I think that people are going to be expecting to see that might sh- not show up, and mm-hmm. there's other people that you might not be expecting to see that will show up. So I think mm-hmm. that that's wow. that's why the free for all. So thank you, Owen. That's why it's so uh, exciting. Um, yeah. Should we go to break there, uh, my Boston friend? Yeah. All right, fine. We'll go to break. Chicken All right, let, and beans. let's go I to got, break. I gotta jump yeah. off this. Can I oh. finish the plug? I just wanted to come in for a plug. Yeah, go ahead. Reggie's live. Uh, <laughs> it's two shows: six thirty and nine thirty p.m. that night. Uh, Twenty dollars each. Uh, but if you want to go to both shows, thirty bucks. So for it'll Chicago, be two different yes. lists for okay. Chicago. Mm-hmm. Right. Two different lists that right. night. So you can see two different shows. Right. But, buy, but buy your show on tickets first. All right, yeah, let's absolutely. go to the break. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thank you. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council, what is it? It's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack, that's right, the pit boss himself, we have a guest on, and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, games, and then we take questions from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope it is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. Right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey, guys. Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com. And if you're a pro wrestling fan, which... 
I hope you are, even if it's in secret, then you should be checking out Wrestling Sheet Radio Weekly. Uh, we've got a bunch of shows in the podcast feed. We've got weekly Do recaps it. for myself and John Roca, which you guys will probably know from the Collider family. Uh, that's for Raw. That's for SmackDown. We've also got the weekly roundup of wrestling news. It's a show I host called Wrestling Sheet Radio with Jamie Iovine and Elijah Bates. And we've also got a bunch of other stuff in our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. So check it out. Subscribe. And I hope you guys dig it. Hey, everyone. Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood water. Hey, guys. What's up? It's Cody again. Remember uh, last week when I said that this ad was outdated and that we'd fix it? Well, I uh, haven't gotten to that yet. We're working on it. And uh, I know you guys may be thinking, hey, why don't you just cut the Movie Talk ad out of this break while you figure that out? And to that, I say, uh, sound bites. Not right now, Derek! Give us your thoughts on every story we have coming because it's all the latest movie news of the day. Who did what at the box office? What horrible red box movies Bruce Willis signed on to? The DC, the Marvel, the Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings. Are they making new? I think they're, they, it's a TV show and we still might talk about it anyway because we love movies around here. It's myself and an expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. Fuck you guys friend. are going to love this show. And then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us. So subscribe right okay. here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and Josh. ears. You can Josh. listen to Collider Movie Talk's feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or what on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this podcast pirate wow. ship that's our weekend show where she takes your letters i don't know if you write them or you email them you have to ask her check it out in video form or on our podcast feed what's up collider fans if you are a fan of television and you want to watch a guy that looks like me and a guy named thad williams talk about tv every single friday subscribe to the collider channel collider podcast is where you can find the video uh we have our own iTunes feed, hashtag at Collider TV Talk. You can find it on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts and you listen to them in your ear holes. That's where Collider TV Talk comes at you. We talk about TV news. We talk about shows we love, shows that we don't love. And most okay. importantly, we don't read any books because TV has nothing to do with reading. We also have a show called Hypothetical Questions with myself and Roxy Stryer and all kinds of reviews right here at the Collider Podcast channel and the Collider TV Talk feed. Subscribe, rate, like, tell your friends, tell all your friends and tell their friends. And before you know, it's a pyramid scheme of television. I'm Josh McCoy. You can see Thad Williams and myself Josh, along with Roxy Stryer and all the Collider personalities all the time right here on Collider TV Talk. As always, Yesterday put down the book, tomorrow. pick up the remote. So just hey everyone, I'm it. Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but okay. is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. Boom. It is fun, it is infectious, it is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows, oh, and it's only yeah. right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Dates himself. Check it out every Friday at 10 a.m. AM Pacific only on Collider Video. You better listen to this song. You're missing it. Here, let, let the song go because you're going to get excited once you keep playing. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Welcome back. Collider Live. We lost a Roca, but we still have a Mark Ellis, a Mark Riley, and a Roxy Stryer. Yeah. Um, this let, is so good. This it, is yeah, so it still good. Works. I was that dick in a theater and I immediately regretted it and Just I will never do it again. Room. Yeah. When Mortal Kombat, I, we were so excited because the first Mortal Kombat movie was so good. Me and my high school idiot friends, we all went to go see Mortal Kombat Annihilation opening night. 95. And it, it, oh, the no, first, the first one was, was 95. I think the second was 97. Okay. 90. And it's it's the new line cinema logo. And I yell out in the theater, Mortal Kombat. Like at the top Did of it my work? No. No, it bombs. Did, you were one of those guys? I And I, I, I'm i reformed. Wow. Was it, you know, this is this is a breaking story to me. This is a breaking story because you hate those people. I despise those people. Wow. So every every yeah. every time we are in a theater, Roxy. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time we are in a theater and like someone will go for the laugh in a crowded press screening theater, you can look over to Mark and without fail, every single time you'll see this. 
Well, like, you know, they yeah. say that usually what bothers us most in other people are the things we see in ourselves. In ourselves because because you, you oh used, totally you, yeah. That but that was that was before there. you were doing stand up, so that was your open mic. And that that's what you find I with see. a lot of comics is right. that they they had to find an outlet right. to try to get a laugh, and right. it's not the appropriate place. But I learned my lesson. Like I bumped, learned in that moment. Hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody laughed. I think I'm. <laughs> I was God. Yelling, I wish shut I, up. Like oh, I wish I had a camera on you at that point because you were like, huh? Hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because unfortunately, that was like after I was like, you know what? I'm the funny. Guy. Like I'm gonna be the funny one. And I know? hit the confidence pretty badly. No, no? Because, no. I okay. just I immediately realized it was not the right venue. Like, like it, it wasn't like That's my good. friends were, were like, oh, dude, you bombed. You're never gonna be funny. It was just like, you know, the theater. The theater wasn't know your audience. It. No, right. you're See, yeah. that's 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 why you are successful. Because the thing is, there are <laughs> there are people out there that would have kept on going yeah. and trying to do it. Those are yeah. the, those are the people where you're just like. You guys hear Stop. me? I said Mortal yeah. Kombat. It's like Paulie from The Sopranos. You hear what I said to him? You hear what I says? Um, yeah. All right. So before we, we have so much to talk about here today that we, we I don't think we talked about a stitch of it yet. Got a trailer um, to talk about. We have a trailer to talk yeah. about. Mm-hmm. We have some. We have some other big movie news. Sure, the Academy the uh, did exactly what this show predicted it would do. Um, <laughs> but before we do that, there's a big announcement. Hence mm-hmm. the reason that you were on the show today. Yeah. Um, big announcements happening. First of all, before we even get into that, because this has not, we haven't talked about it yet at all. We kind of brought it up. Um, I would say this to you again. Congratulations on the fact that you're pursuing other things. I said the, these Thank words you. about you on uh, on air, and I say it again to your face. I think that you were one of the best hosts that we've ever had on on this network. Ah, sure, I've ever worked thank with you. for sure. Mm-hmm. But are you, you you happy with the with the decision to kind of move on from movie talk to do your? To oh do your yeah. Thing? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when Fernandez and I talked, it was just uh, we we both kind of came to the conclusion, and uh, you know, movie talk's going in a different direction, and I'm going in a different direction, and. God, what what a great week it was! Yeah, it's kind of you can relax it, a little. It wasn't bit. that I'm like, oh man, screw that. But like, I'm still, I I, I love being here. I, I love, you know, I'm a big fan of Collider, right. um, and and movie talk and everybody that you know that works here. But God, last week was awesome, just yeah. because you just don't have that Less responsibility. Yeah, that right, and yeah. you know how I feel about responsibility. I know, and it's like I just uh, having afternoons free. Yeah. It's you nice. Know? Yeah. It was you like it. God. It was great. Yeah. yeah. See, that's that's why I knew like when this when this came, I was like, he's gonna be just fine because he yeah. wants to go and, and yeah, this. <laughs> so I like, yeah and I, this, I, this is good for you. I did have to I had to film a couple things last week uh, at various places but it was like it just because usually that would happen and then on top of that I would have to be back here in time to do movie talk and so just having like that 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 relaxation in the schedule sure you know to do other stuff it was just it was it was a bless. I know it's not always going to be like that relaxing but yeah but it, but was, it was but it's nice that it landed you Ooh. did it for a very long time oh um, yeah it was nice but you but like I said there, you're working on other things and there's kind mm-hmm. of big exciting news happening and you want to share it with uh, the Collider Live audience well yeah so we have an opening announcement which is uh, which I'm in Seattle uh, March 14th right. uh, one night only at Columbia City Theater. So tickets were moving so well with that that I was able to add on two of our friends oh, to nice. host it. Ken and, and uh, Josh and Ken nice. in are Seattle. going to be in like Seattle. Okay. Uh, they're going to be hosting uh, my my comedy show. We have a great Quite opener. Quite the trio you guys have going on now. I like yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Well, again, it's not oh. not, not going to be able to happen every time. But when I can get those two yeah. guys up there, they're and going to Chicago. They enjoy. I believe they're going to Chicago. Great. So how, we we're still hiring up the kids. Because I'm so green at this. Like, do you have to ask the theater, the person putting on the show, to bring them, or how do you? No, I mean it's all it's all me. So it's you know I I have my deal that I have with the theater and with the agency, mm-hmm. and I kind of take a look at the math, and I'm like, well, if I'm doing this kind of business, then I'm able to offer them financially be able to stretch yeah. my wings a little bit, and, and you know, those guys are great, and, and we're good buddies, and so to be able to, like, because I don't want to just drag somebody, I don't want to say, hey, I can pay you this right. to do a show, but you got to get here yourself, I, because there's so many there's yeah. so many headliners that have that, that, that will do that, that are like, oh, if you can get here, do it, and I was lucky enough to travel with people when I was coming up, like, like John Caparulo, Right, yeah, yeah. Like Eliza, like Steve Byrne, and, and they always were like, no, we will take care of your flight right. and your hotel. That's what you so do. that's that's, that's how you I want to do it. Yeah, and that's what yeah. you've been doing. And the other thing that's, that's reason cool. what's so good about bringing Ken and Makuka too, it's on brand. I mean, it's the fact yeah. that, they, that people get to see more parts yeah, of the pe- stuff. Yeah, that, people yeah. get excited to see them. And I, I was getting a couple texts from Ken this weekend where he's just like, oh, God. I'm, he was like in a Target or something. And he's like, oh, no, I thought of a comedy bit. 
What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> so, he's starting to get into that mode it's now. Yeah, like the bug is, I love seeing well, that too. Well, yeah. that's because he's on stage so often. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Good for you for doing that. Yeah, too. you get them on stage someone, together. Someone you got to bring with you eventually somewhere if it's close. Sheridan? You got to. I. You got to. The offer's been extended. I, I, I love push him. Brett push makes him. me giggle yeah. so hard on stage because I've seen him on stage yeah. and here and on his shows. And I would love to have yeah, Brett. The problem with Brett is that he, he's and if Brett w- had more of a like fire about him, you know, like yeah, get, I'm telling you, I'm t- I'm telling you from when from working with him in '99, uh, he could have. I tell you, he he would, we'd be working for him right now because he is one of those guys. <laughs> he could be off the stage for 15 years. I guarantee you, no matter where you put him up, he's gonna crush. He hadn't mm-hmm. done stand up in like three years, and he did. He had my roast. Arguably one of the best sets that night. The best that night. Right. The best. And he hadn't been on forever because he's just a naturally funny guy. People are like, well, where's Brett? Where's he been? He'll be back next week. Um, he's just he's off. He's been off the last two weeks. He had to work. But he. This is like his playoff season. Yeah. When it comes to right. like his, he was, he was his so, day he, job. Yes. Kinda. He was so pissed off. He was so pissed off because he had to miss again. He told me he's just like I've been on such a rhythm and on such a roll on the show <laughs> and I can't be on. I'm like, don't worry about it. No one's yeah. taking your spot. You're fine. Yeah. Um. So, but. We need what I'd like to maybe try to do is because he does the cruise stuff sometimes for the Schmodown. Right. Maybe we take him to Chicago and then we push him. In. Do you have a, do you have room in Chicago or not right now? Uh, no. The Chicago situation's it, changed. Oh, what is it? Because that's the big announcement. Oh, is that I got? am filming my very first stand-up comedy special. My first hour yeah. is going to be taped in Chicago, wow. yeah. April twelfth. <laughs> Finally doing it. Oh, wow. And how long will that be? That'll be a full hour? It's wow. going to be a full hour. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's my hour special. It's nice. something I've been working at, uh, <laughs> in, in my opinion, for a very long time, if yeah. not too long. And I'm so excited to finally get to announce it. There's been a lot of, uh, you know, deals I've been making. And the place where it lands, the, the like, pie-in-the-sky places go. are, like, uh, oh, are, right. are like your, your Netflix, your all-things comedy, something like that. And so when you say a lot of deals you've been making, like you talk to those places before you actually go tape, or you tape and then you talk to them. I, I've had some talks with some different distribution companies, yeah. and I continue to do that. It's one of the things that I'm, you know, doing the next couple of weeks. But I want to tape it, and I want to own it um, because I'm this far along in the process that right. it's going to be mine, and then so I you can have to pay for the entire thing. distribute it wherever. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So and um, it's smart though you own it now. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and I'm just the, the tickets are already almost sold out for both those shows. Um, so on Friday night, so it's near the convention center, and yeah, it's gonna be Star Celebration. But this is this is my stand up hour, and I'm just I'm, really I'm thrilled to uh, thrilled to finally be doing it. Who's so. opening for you there? Um, so I'm not sure how exactly we're gonna do it because it's not gonna be a situation like like where people saw us in San Diego and it was or like eight comics opening for oh, me okay. or New York where it was like three or four right. comics opening for me. It's gonna be a, a different situation. It's there's gonna be cameras everywhere. Yeah. There's, it's gonna be uh, a taped TV show environment. Right. But I want to get the crowd juiced and I have some friends that are pretty good at juicing a crowd. So so, so Ken and Josh might not be there for that one. Uh, they, uh, they might, we don't know yet. They, Okay. Can I come? Right. Yeah, you, you are. You are well, certainly welcome you, to come. You, you better hope that the odd couple wins. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm so stressed because I, I feel like trip just to Chicago. All my cards out on the table. They really should win. Yeah, they should be able to pull this one off. They really, really should. Pull. Haley and Haley and Kaylin are two and zero. Oh. No, they can the, play. They're, they're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're tough. They're awesome, but we have been working together they've been getting along they've got great different knowledge it's not like i'm saying it's an easy victory no. but we should be able to pull it off it's a story though too if you guys win because look, like just from from the couple look look you got Snyder and Dagnino, who've got their beef, you know. Right. Snyder and Riley used to be hosts, and Snyder and Riley, I can announce too, are playing each other in a one-on-one match. That'll be coming up. Can bring it. soon. So right there, you got that beef. Then you got Bateman. You know, you got Bateman and Draco, and Draco's beaten Bateman before, and mm-hmm. then and Dr- uh, Bateman on the other side of Roxy, which yeah. is very interesting. Well, I think this is yeah. one of those things where you got to be careful because you, you, never know. you start to it's the Andrew Guy Merle situation. To think already. of yeah. storylines in your head. Yeah, like the, in '98, everybody had the Broncos going against the Vikings in the Super Bowl, and then the Falcons come to town, and all of a sudden it's an upset, and yeah. now the Falcons are playing in the Super Bowl, Listen. and I think that that is totally an in play scenario, hundred percent when it comes to screen queens, but. Yeah. I also tell you this is that if the Scream Queens win and they go to Chicago, because I, I have listened to the show from time to time, and it seems like the, every episode you talk about something fun, and yeah, Roxy's right. always like, Can I come? Roxy, you are cordially invited oh, to yeah. my comedy special taping if you would like to attend. If the odd Thank couple you. wins. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm not flying you there. Right. But you are cordially invited. Right. Oh, I'm right. nervous. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Nervous. And also, like, nobody talks about if the Falcons lose or whatever. What do they do that weekend? Mm-hmm. What am I, like, what do I, if... Uh, this weekend's on hold for me. I know. You if know, I don't go, what am I going to do? Well, you know, you know, this you, is the yeah, life of an NFL true. player. You, what you're this leading, is right. the life they, of an NFL they, yeah, player. Yeah, they're giving you Chicago if they win. <laughs> if not, you're watching it on the live stream. Um, mm-hmm. but, Which is still a great option. Listen, it's, it's only three dollars. People ask me that Q and A all the time about the, the, the question I get all the time is, "Have you ever been like?" There's two storylines that you have, mm-hmm. and have you ever been sitting there going, "Oh, this is not the storyline." Like it happens. All, All the time. The time. Yep. And the big one, I give the example, is Merle Guy, to where if you watch, Guy actually sent me the text last night of my face as I, when we were uh, calling the match. If you look at my face. <laughs> Just during, slowly starts <laughs> revealing. If you look at my face during that match, I am seeing the awning of, uh, of Merle versus Levine in flames. Because uh, that was going to be our, our, our Los Angeles event, was going to be those two for the title. And after Guy won, it, but mm-hmm. that's, it's, well, that's why. Haley and Kalen know their stuff. This is not a sure thing. No, it's well, not. But it's a going down this Saturday. Yeah. You guys can watch it. And Saturday. You do 23. that a lot anyway. I mean, I'd say 30% yeah. of the time you're on camera when, when announcing the Schmodown, yeah. your face has no idea What's that there's on. even a camera. I'm Roxy driving to Burbank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly the face <laughs> yeah. every That's time. But, that, but then no. when you realize. Right. You're uh, back I, in. I, oh, it's so yeah, funny yeah. to watch him snap back yeah. into it. Now, the problem I have, and I noticed this at the live event in New York, is that the, the issue I have is that Christian. When because Christian's the one that says, "And you're a winner." Whenever he's doing that, it's on camera, and I am still looking down ah. because I'm making sure that the question was answered properly and that we got all our our eyes. So you're pulling, up, you're pulling I'm, at me. I'm always I'm, well, I'm not pulling doing, at you. He's doing right. his I'm job. engaged in this show. Yeah. I'm but always engaged. In you're the show. not engaged in this. I show. am. I'm just thinking when I'm about reading the things. rules, you're thinking about, oh, do I need to pick up eggs? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not so false. So I'm looking at my thing, and so every time it's on camera, and I'm just have this bored look on my face, like like serious, like this. So I need to work on. Yeah, getting just, it, just smile and shake your head. the camera. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I go, and you <laughs> It's gonna be like, like Ringo bo- on the drums back there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's true. It's like a bobblehead. <laughs> um, all right, cool. So <laughs> yeah, so I just cool. I just tweeted out. Uh, you guys can uh, get tickets to MarkLSLive.com. There's very few of them left, so. Um, you know, this, these shows are going to sell out if I wasn't taping, and I'm excited to be taping it. So you can go grab your tickets at Mark I'm excited. Live. Oh, what a handsome picture good. of you. Which one awesome. is him? Um, I don't know. I'm looking at a oh, picture. Oh, Brian yeah. Ward. God, that I guy. Saw him. I saw the, the Cody did you, just see, the, did you the see the Star Molly Wars one? one? Oh, yeah, the Star Wars one. The Star Wars right one. Right oh, that's, oh, that's cool. awesome. And he put Molly in there as the coat. Yeah, it's really oh, good. Oh, man, I saw Brian that Ward's one. Brian Ward's the man. The only difference is that now the second show is at 1030, not 10. Okay. Because we're taping and there's like oh, a lot of camera resets right. and stuff like that. So it's 10 30, not 10. It's really cool, man. You got two shows there, April 12th. Listen to that weekend, guys. April 11th, you've got the top 10 show. April 12th, you've got Mark Ellis, two shows for Mark Ellis Comedy. And then April 13th, there is going to be a big schmodown at the Star Wars Celebration um, weekend. And you've got the champion, Alex Damon, defending his title against whoever wins that fatal five way on Friday inside the convention center. And that match will air on Collider Video. By the way, the the fatal the fatal five way will air on Collider Video. Yeah, good luck to any of those five people. It's going to be. It tough. should be those five people versus Alex Damon. <laughs> I know. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe a new star emerges. We don't know. I still don't get why you don't want to do a Collider Live Live. I didn't say I didn't want to. <laughs> Can you call Collider Live Square? Right. Like a Collider Live. Yeah. live. Collider yeah. Live, Collider yeah. live comma, we're live. Come Collider see us. Live, we're live. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I doing it in, in Chicago. Yeah. Oh, because that's too much. Why? That's too much. For who? For, for everyone. Me. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Cody. That is too much. That is too much. You get yeah. the top ten show, and you get Mark's two yeah, shows. We could go right after the top ten show. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, Top Ten's doing two shows. <laughs> well, we could go right before yeah, the good. Top Ten show. No. I'll, I'll tell you this. that <laughs> The bar, because you walk into Reggie's, uh, this is the, like the big rock club that uh, mm-hmm. that my show is at and that Top Ten is doing. You walk in there. So w- our shows are in two different rooms. Mine is in the rock club. Yeah. And um, then you go into, there's like a bar area, and but there's also a stage. And that's where, and I walked in there first. And it's just you just look at like all the like these like like famous like some some metal bands and stuff that I recognize that have played at Reggie's and you just it's a really cool environment so it is a good like radio podcasting right. kind of environment yeah, yeah. so I think we eventually maybe one day we'll do it Roxy oh. moving on all right let's uh, let's let's it get into a lot some of these five people yeah to places but we're already gonna be there hopefully you don't, you don't know that yet but if I am right. So, you know, do your own show. You'll be there. You'll be there. The I'll be show. there. He'll be there. <laughs> do the Roxy show and we'll call it Help Me Not Get Lost. 
No, I call it chicken and beer. Chicken and beer. There you go. Maybe I will put on a show. There it yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. Chicken and beer. Yeah. Let's start. Let's start the news. <laughs> All right. Fine. I'll listen to this song. I'll listen to this song every time. This, this sounds like a Charlie Daniels band. You need the fiddle in there. That's all. Yeah. All right. So the Academy is a bunch of morons. Uh, mm. We uh, we we called it we called it last week on this show that when the whole big stink and hoopla was going on about oh my God they're not going to give out the the photography they're not going to excuse me director of photography they're not going to do the editors and cinematography we said, we said it on the show we said we said uh, they have too much pushback they have crumbled every single time when they did the popular thing they said oh no no we're just kidding I said I guarantee you mm-hmm. that they will say I'm just kidding well guess what they said I'm just kidding yep. <laughs> now they're going to let everybody do it because they they just can't take the heat every single it's like don't make announcements don't make just stop making announcements you cannot do right they just can't because you, what's his name Earl uh, Earl mm-hmm. yeah whatever Humphrey what is, what's, the guy? <laughs> what's the guy's real name uh, it, it, it was John, John Bailey. Ba- Bailey. Right, Earl Choo-choo Bailey. Bailey. Yeah, Choo Choo Bailey. He's, he, he, he d- just stepped down. Yeah. Just, just step down. I, I've never understood the idea of like making a premature announcement if that's not what's locked in. Like, no. like if Kevin Hart's your host, own it. If Oof, right. this is what you're doing with your I think show, Cody's hosting now. Own it. It's, it's so ridiculous and silly, but here's the odd thing. Is that I have a feeling because they every move they make is based on oh god our ratings are, are dwindling yeah. every year for the last ten years. I have a weird feeling ratings are going up on this because there is such a mystery, there is such an odd air, and people this is like that that Fox show The Mask Singer. Because people right. do, do not well, know that show? it's crushing. Is it still crushing? People do not know yeah. who is coming out to open the Oscars. They don't know who's gonna be there. Right. So all of a sudden there's all this mystery and and people, people are talking about the Oscars. Love mystery. They That's have no is. idea who's coming out, so everybody's gonna watch at least the first few minutes of the show. I don't disagree with you. I think that uh So that it's kind of genius it, in a really stupid way. It, it's it's in a way that's like they're kind of leaning. I think that uh Perry and, and Thad talked about it on TV talk. They're kind of le- they're leaning into it. Um, and How dumb they are. More or less, they're leaning into the fact. Just, <laughs> that's just because I think the ratings will go up in a certain sense. I also still think because we are still in this bubble. I still think there are people in just regular watchers who have no idea what's going on. They have oh, no yeah. idea, but the because the business was really who got pissed off about the and, and rightfully so about the editing and and director of photography right. and, and all, cinematography, all that stuff. Um, but my dad probably has no clue. So whether or not he's going to watch because of the controversy, I doubt it. I think most of middle America, right. to use that very broad term, is aware of the Kevin Hart thing. Right. I think I think I think that that's the thing Celebrity that gets culture. to the next level. I agree. But as far as like like the individual awards, maybe they heard something about it, and it, it's one of those things that if you're in a dentist office somewhere and you hear the, the, you know dentists and nurses and they're talking about, oh yeah, this, so now the Oscars, ah, I don't even care, and then they're going to tune in that night and watch. Right. People just want to know if their pool is going to win, and they want to know who's hosting, and we don't really know any of that. Stuff. I don't know what's going to happen. I, it's it's. I, I'm telling you, though, that guy better not give a speech. We don't need his speech. <laughs> you want to cut stuff out, cut that speech out. The speech sucks every year, and now now all the bad decisions he's made, who, who needs him? I there? would pay money to be in the boardroom, and like, like if you work there yeah. or whatever, and you have a voice. Like, Has anybody ever raised that? Like, like okay, guys, what? ideas. We need to cut time from the Oscars. Your speech, sir. Let's cut your speech. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Some guy in a hood taps right. you on the shoulder and you're out. Yes, it was like my first day at the WWE. That's what I, I was like. Uh, hey, Vince, you know you guys have been doing this for so long. It's like my second day. Thinking this is what we should do. So the Rock cool. and Diamond Dallas Page I should su- hang out with Hulk Hogan. I had good suggestions, by the way. They just good references. wasn't supposed to do that. wasn't supposed to do that. Then, like I said, not only once, and then uh, I don't know. It was like 20 minutes later. Oh. Right up again, Coachman, you know Jonathan Coachman from uh, yeah. ESPN. So he worked College. there, and Coach Coach comes to me. He's like, he's like, no, not a good move, not a good move. He's like, good luck, not oh, a good no. move. And oh, I, that's oh, yeah. great. <laughs> oh no, he's like, you're gonna have to. He's like, you got a lot. Of, you got to come back from that one. You got to get in touch with Coach. I'd love to. I haven't talked to him in 17 years, but it wow. was like, but it was, the, yeah. Do well, you know him? I'm, I, 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 he's a few of those guys, uh, and I follow each other on Twitter. Then so if you f- see if you follow him, if you do, man. if Coach you do, send them, send them that story because I would love to have him on to uh, to tell that story. I wonder if he remembers it. I wonder if he remembers that story. How long did he work there? 
Oh, he was there for a long time. He was on camera for a long time. I've seen him talk about it on. Uh, he was on for a very long time. Yeah. Um, but he was there when I was there, and then that's that's what he. Uh, yeah, that's what he said. I always remember that, and I, I remember thinking he's right. He wasn't because he wasn't really a dick about it. He was just going like just letting me know. You got. Yeah. You're gonna have to come back from that. Oh, wow. And I didn't. Um, you didn't. Right. <laughs> so. Le- 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 <laughs> Yosh, yosh, yosh. yosh, yosh. Um, what else you got going on in the world of news? Uh, well, there was a big report yesterday that Army Hammer was in final negotiations to become the Batman. Not true. Okay. Not true. Boris Kitt, who was wow. a very trusted, yes, uh, so, uh, works for the THRI, said, "I don't normally." Debunked it. He debunked it immediately. He never goes on Twitter yeah, to do does. this kind of yeah. stuff. He just drops his scoops and walks off. He's like, "I'm not usually doing this, but it needs to be said." Uh, so it is not true. However, Justin Kroll did say that rumor was, and this is over at Variety, was untrue. But stay tuned. So, he's working on something. We might get some Batman news this week, but maybe not cast. I don't think Army Hammer's mm-hmm. the right guy to put Batman. He, first of all, he already he already he was, was already Batman. He, already, he was he, he was, cast. but we didn't see yeah, it. And the Wolfgang Peterson uh, one that never hit theaters. Ooh. I just never. I think that he's really good in like supporting roles. Although I thought he was great in Call Me by Your Name, he was great in that. But he was—I've never been a huge fan of his. But I, I have to give credit to where credit is due. You didn't think he was great in that movie? No, no. I'm trying to think of like I'm, I'm sorting out my own personal opinion oh. of Army Hammer because, <laughs> like, I, a funny story. I won't name the comic, but there was a comic that uh, that I'm friends with that was on Conan. Uh, when like, the Army Hammer was on Conan. <laughs> Yeah. We were talking about, like, you know, his set, uh, my, my friend said, then he's like, yeah, and it was weird because, like, I walked by Army Hammer and I felt nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, waiting to feel like a movie star is here and he's like, yeah. he never felt anything. I saw Army Hammer at, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, at, at the Toronto Film Festival. Yeah. It was at some party yeah. and he was there and he seemed like a nice, nice guy, like, hanging out. He's definitely got an aura about him to yeah. me. And when I actually think about his career, it's like he was in The Lone Ranger, and that's like an all-time bad stink bomb movie. That's yeah. not a good movie. But he was great in Social Network in mm-hmm. a very tough role. Yeah. He was really good in The Man from Uncle. Mm-hmm. He's great in Call Me By Your Name. That was fine. So all of a sudden you start thinking, like, could this guy be Bruce Wayne? First of all, he is the richest of the rich in real life. Yeah. So he could play the richest of the rich in I fiction. I just it, this it's a badass version I don't buy. Here's the thing. This news has been this has been a rumor for so long yeah. that Army Hammer's been is Batman rumors go back to like seven years. So if you if you make this announcement, fine, but it's not gonna have the intended effect of like we finally have our Batman. It's like, yeah, it's about time that you announce this guy. So I don't think you get the excitement that you would with, say, like an Oscar Isaac. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. You guys know that DC is my jam. Like, this is, to me, I've been waiting for this announcement for ever since the Ben Affleck issues started happening. Um, I think that Army Hammer is much more of a Superman than he is a Batman. I think that he is doesn't have that grit, that edge that I'm looking for. He's talented. God knows, and he tweets about enough how long he's been waiting for this kind of an opportunity. Like, he's been second in line for so many roles for the last 15 years. Like, it just keeps almost coming for him because he's still not a household name. But I'm sorry, he's just not the right pick for this. And it wouldn't get the excitement as somebody like, and I know that other people weren't as happy about this, but like a Robert Pattinson. Who wasn't happy about that, really? Yeah, a lot of people were not happy about that. He's my first choice, and then Richard Madden's my second. Oh, that would be great, too, actually. Bob Pattinson? Yeah. The thing I like about a Robert Pattinson casting is that, well, first of all, I would like to know what we're doing with this Batman movie. Like, said younger. Is it in fact? But I, I know it's younger. But is it in fact going to be some sort of prequel? And is there a chance that you do have Ben Affleck as an older Batman, like narrate the story, so. still have him in there? I just want to know what you're doing with that no. because that informs my casting of it. Right. I don't because, think that we're doing that. Yeah. I think that this is a like a separate piece, true right? detective kind of if different, you're, separated. If you're doing your own Batman. You're right, Robert Pattinson. Yeah, because people, I think the people who aren't on board for that are just the Twilight haters. Yes. Because and I was like Mike Kalinowski was not on board on yeah. DC Movie News. He like went in on it. He's never I, seen the other movies. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Because if I was just coming out of Twilight, mm-hmm. I would probably feel the same way. I've seen him in uh, the Ro- the Rover. The Rover, mm-hmm. he's great. Which he's great in. Live. Uh, what's the last Good one? Good time. Good time. Good time. He's great. Damsel, which is a shit movie, but he's amazing. And he was in that movie. He's in a, he, Twilight New Moon. Not that one. Um, he's been in a lot of stuff. And the thing is, it's <laughs> it's smaller movies that a lot of you that are hating on the idea have not seen. That's um, yeah. Harry Potter. I really, I, yeah, he was. That was before Twilight. Yeah. But what I would say is, I'm 
I would like to ask Kalinowski that too. Has Kalinowski seen those? No, movies? I asked him and he hadn't. Right. But, yeah. but he was like, I'm sorry. It, the unfortunate thing is he will always be this to me. No, he and won't. he was like, and I know that's a me problem, and it is a him problem, but oh my God, he's perfect. Yeah, I felt he's I, perfect. I felt that way too, though. Same thing that Mike said, where it's like he'll he'll always be the Twilight guy. He won't be. He will change your mind in Rover, and he will change your mind in Good Time. Yeah, you know, like that. That's I how good of an actor. I, I don't even know that people like identify Kristen Stewart as much with Twilight anymore. No, because she had a similar thing. She did a bunch of great movies yeah, she, that were outside of Twilight, and yeah. I saw her differently. Yeah, but she doesn't. She doesn't change really. She, she doesn't mopes. morph the same way. Yeah. She, she does, mopes in everything that she does. Like, there's some other things. So she was really good in that movie with uh, Julianne Moore. The one where Julianne Moore lost her memory. Yeah, she was, oh. and it was, what was called, called? Alice. Still, Alice. Alice. Still, Still Alice. Alice. Still Alice. Yes. Still Alice. Still Alice. Uh, that movie was great. And mm-hmm. Kristen, Kristen Stewart was great in that movie. She really was. But Robert Pattinson is the type of actor like he changes. Like he's mm-hmm. the character. He's that is and uh, like like he's I said, that. I could go after somebody and say, "Oh, he's the Twilight kid," and I did for a long time. But I'm gonna give somebody credit when credit is due, and that kid is a natural actor. It's also she, Kristen Stewart, uh, stayed in the limelight a lot harder than Robert Pattinson did. He's not in the tablets all the time. He's not like right. his personal life is not out there every single day. So I think it's easier. He's an to, actor, not a celebrity. Yeah, yeah. To remove him from that. Um, yeah, I think I'd like it to be Oscar Isaac, but I think that I, I, I don't know that that Oscar Isaac necessarily wants that for Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> True story my best friend lives in the same building as oscar isaac have no idea who he was uh-huh. which made me realize that he's not i think of him as like a massive a-list celebrity i guess uh that he is not in the common no see i wouldn't agree with that because of star wars like, yeah, that's star what wars. i said but she said what do you mean star wars he's not in star wars does, does and she, I was like, she see the new no Oh, right, she hasn't seen the new yeah. ones. But, mo- but she most didn't people... know she hadn't seen the new ones. And oh. then I asked her husband and like 15 of her friends and none of them have heard of it. This sounds like their problem. To Maybe. go back to the Conan story, I think you'd walk by Oscar Isaac and you'd feel something. Yeah. Well, she she saw that he was very handsome and he yeah. moved into the most expensive place in the, in the whole place. So she was like, who is this guy? And I was like, that's Oscar Isaac. Um, wow. That's and so she cool. introduced herself this week and she said that he was very, very friendly but did not give his name. Washington that's Redskins fan. Word on the street is is he? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for all of us, him. yeah, the Washington Redskins, we can't, we we just can't stop rooting for him. Can't do anything, huh? Sorry, man. Yeah. Oh, God. Sorry, Sorry about that. Man. No there idea. Hope, how bad I want to there was hope for a little bit. No, there's not. Not, not with that honor. No, no, not anymore. But there was for there was like a stretch for like two years where you guys like looked like you were it, making a little it, bit of a pull. You make the playoffs and it's yeah. cute and it's adorable. Don't with be that nice. owner, he's so young and he's so healthy. Nice. This guy time. plays racquetball all the time. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Roxy, can your maid start cleaning Dan Snyder's <laughs> Velma. <laughs> Velma. We're going dark on this show this week, I'll yeah. tell you that. All right. let's, let's. I just I just think the guy needs his place clean. What? Yeah. I'm just saying that's right. All right, let's let's move let's move on. Uh, Riley, what else is going on in the world? Yeah, some uh, of the expected but big news uh, Netflix did officially cancel The Punisher and Jessica Jones, right. but uh, Jeff Loeb, who's been a, a writer and a producer in other, of all the shows. Another shocking news. And other shocking news. Something this mm-hmm. week. He did tease though. <laughs> I tweeted that. It's. I love it. He did tease though that there might be something in the future for these incarnations. Right. Okay. So I'm shocked on yeah, that. Yeah. They're gonna go we'll to. See. They're gonna, they're gonna, gonna go, go to Hulu Disney or Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Yeah. Which we knew that was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Who's shocked? Yeah. So I I didn't care about this as much because I saw these coming right. a million miles away. But they also canceled. Friends from College, oh. which crushed my heart yeah. because I love that show. And if anybody watched season two, we end on a massive cliffhanger. Doesn't seem like anybody watched that show. That's why they canceled. I, that's why I'm I'm so pissed at the people because all of this, this is what happened for Lucifer also. But then Netflix saved Lucifer. Who's going to save Friends from College? Right. Everybody shut up about it. There was no Therapy. buzz, and then it gets canceled, and everybody comes out of the woodwork like, "Well, that's my favorite show." And I'm like, "Where the fuck were you? Where right. were mm-hmm. you? Where were you when I was tweeting about how much I love this and watching it? Where were that's you?" That's the circle of life, man. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. somebody, s- somebody, all. unfortunately, if, if somebody passes away, it's like, "Oh man, I wish I, you know, could hang out with that person right. more." And it's like, "Well, you, you had, you could you know, the opportunity." To. God, that show was you know? so good, though, and I just, oh, this is it good? Uh, never, never. Saw it. I watched the first the episode. Second season is fire. Like it is. It was one of the best shows that there were. It was so yeah. so good. Good. Now I don't want to get invested in it. But now don't. Yeah. No. Now you shouldn't. And I. I don't know. I wonder if there is a possibility that like an Amazon or a Somebody. Hulu will start. Yeah, pick, they'll start picking up each other's Look shows. Look at Brooklyn Nine Nine. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So you never know. What's yeah. it? It's on NBC now, right? It was on Fox, then it went to NBC. 
Uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Brooklyn Nine. Yeah, Fox yeah. Ten NBC. Yeah. yeah. Which is crazy when you think about it, because Andy Samberg, being an SNL alumni, wonder yeah. how that process kind of went down in the first place. Why he didn't? Why Lorne Michaels just didn't take that show right away? You think because he definitely must have pitched it there. You would assume, unless because he's a creator of the show, isn't he? Uh, Andy Samberg? I don't know. I don't know. Actually. Maybe he's not. They might have just had you know maybe no, no open slots and Fox. Or maybe it was a Fox. Maybe it was a Fox show that so, maybe they yeah. started on Fox, got mm-hmm. Andy Samberg, and then sold it to NBC. Who the hell knows? But then, so right after the show gets canceled, I go onto my Netflix app, and my Netflix app informs me that it's raising my monthly payments. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they've been doing that, which was interesting. And I'm not upset about that because I love all their content. Yeah. And I'll keep paying. But what is the crap timing? It's now for me going to be fifteen ninety nine for for the normal like the two screen or whatever thing. It's fifteen ninety nine yeah. for four K though. It's it's up two bucks and it, like I, I remember we talked about it on movie talk last month. Like they made that announcement yeah. and that most subscribers are going to get that message at some point. So and you have to hit OK on it. Mm. I couldn't watch anything without hitting yeah. OK. There, I tried to yeah. like dip dodge <laughs> duck. <but laughs> you can yeah. do it. There's two things with that though. It's two. It's tenfold. I think that the first part of it is that there's they have kind of like a monopoly on everything right now um, because the majority of the stuff, I mean, yes, Amazon, it makes a play and there's other streaming services, but Netflix is the king. Um, I mean, there, there really is no no one else that is competing with them. The sheer all, amount of movies that saying. they have in development, movies, the, the amount of money they're dumping into production of those movies, it's, it's original movies, it's now the, because when they started doing their streaming, their selection of just regular movies were just mm-hmm. okay. They're great now. You can find all huge releases on, on Netflix. You have mm-hmm. that, you have... The huge releases, you have their original television content, the original movies. I, the original documentaries yeah, that are the, great. The reason that people are... reach com- overseas. Yeah, any complaints that come from the raising is because anytime anybody raises money on, on anybody, they go, oh, great, they're raising their prices. Now, I think that, yes, there's, there's that argument of, well, they promised me it was going to be this price forever. The other thing, though, they give you so much. You have so, so much, much. And the amount of money that they pay to do the... the, the Whatever the the real story is, how much debt that they're in, whatever, because of all the stuff that they put out there, I think fifteen ninety nine is a steal for all the stuff that they do. I agree, honest. and and the other thing, and this might not be a very PC comment, but this is what my parents said to me growing up. It was a different time. Nobody's putting a gun to your head. If you want to cancel, cancel. Yeah. Right. So you don't have. It's not saying right. you're locked in now. Fifteen ninety nine, suckers. Yeah. Like they literally say in the thing, if you don't want to be here, you can cancel at this link. Yeah. If they're not trying to hide it, deny it. Like they're telling this you that they're raising your prices. Price yeah. yeah. I just, I just want to know yeah. for uh, for my mom's neighbor down the street, will they still mail DVDs? I Are know. they still do they still do that? I they told do. You. Yeah. They do, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The guy lives on my street. Wow, they still His buddy's do my mom. He still gets the DVD wow. set, what, and you get I was like, like three a month or something. Yeah, I, I I think you get as many like like you can get as many as like three at That's a time. Oh, and, then and then you them. send them all back, and then you get three more, but and you have them in your queue. How, and how old is that gentleman? Uh, he's he's probably 60s. north of seventy. Nine? Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, and and that's probably why they still do it. Yeah, yeah, because like there are, there are tons of people who have no idea how to stream. Yeah, they just it's it's easier. Yeah, you know, it's easier for them. They just have their DVD. I just player didn't know that. I, I didn't know that Netflix still yeah. did that. Like they, they still have the. It's probably DVDs. from a Google who still only has a DVD player. Yeah, but but like like modern movie, it's like like they got Black Panther on DVD. That, right. they, that they sent to him. Yeah. So it's, do they it's, offer VHS? Because otherwise, my <laughs> Grammy can't use it. Does she so. still watch VHS? It's amazing. It, I went over there yesterday. I thought I was being all friendly with a screener because yeah. she had been wanting to see the wife for a really long time. And then I show up and she's got a VHS. And I said, Graham. Do you have my copy of the wife? I believe you do. No, I don't. That wasn't. That's not yours. Um, oh, no. No screener. Oh, like, see no, it. I, I wow. never not return something to him, and I don't have his the right. wife. Fine. I, I wow. have that from somebody else. I've and misplaced I already returned screeners, it to somebody else. but um, I have never failed to eventually return them yeah. to whoever mm-hmm. lent them to me. You know what's making a comeback? Cassette tapes. What? That's not, that's not true. Cassette. Th- really? Yes, they are. Yeah, because like, like, like the way albums, the boombox comes out. People just people just like hearing music huh. in various Forms. delivery systems. So you have like like because albums have made a huge comeback. Right. And now I was reading something like cassettes are making a comeback. So it's not going to be on the mm, level of record like, albums, album. but oh, cassettes like it was pretty cool to have that case logic. You know, yeah. unzipping like oh, yeah. look at all these. I have a question for you because after her comment today about letting the kid cry, I don't know how much merit I'm going to take into her. Yeah, answer, okay. but well, I'll let you yeah. answer anyway. Yeah. So for the longest time, my my oldest daughter has been convinced that I can do real magic. Like I'll do like a, I'll I'll say mm-hmm. I'll I'll do the hey check if I buy buy her like a present or something like a Lego present, right? Put it under the couch and I go and I go magic magic. Put a Lego set under the thing. And she runs to the thing. She's like oh my god! I've been doing it for years, 
right? Wow. You are some you. sort of sorcerer. Right. So she, the other day she says, can you teach me the magic? And I'm in my head I'm going, Uh-oh. do I do I tell her that it's just all been bullshit this whole time? No. Or do I just keep doing it because she's seven and let her just figure it out like Santa Claus? It's true. You know? All of it. So I said, you know, I said, all right, fine, let's figure it out. So I, I did a, I did, I, I, they had sent me for the BFCA, they had sent me two copies of the Black Panther album. And so she went into her room and I took one of them, I hid the other one, and I said, right, let's, let's try to multiply the, the album. We did it. She's so excited. She did this. And then she, so then we're walking. I went to get burgers for everybody. I'm walking out. I have my phone to my ear. And my phone rings right as I'm walking up the thing. And she goes, like, like Dad, when are you going to be back? And I go, Nah, probably about an hour. She's like, An hour? I go, I don't know. Use your magic. See if you can get me here faster. So she does. But she's like, Oh my God, I made you teleport. Right? So now I'm like, Is it fun? Or am I making the kid think for she's Harry moment, Potter? It's for the moment, it's fun. she's 20, thinking she's trying to do magic in, in, in traffic, and she's like, why can't I clear the 405? Do you have hesitation, or like, it, like when you talk to your kids about like Santa Claus and stuff like that, is it just like, Not like I'm going to go with this as long as yes. I possibly, I'm yes. going to ride this out. That's, yeah. that's where my mentality with the magic came from. I was like, you know, the same thing with Santa Claus, I did the same thing. Yeah, I think, my, I think my parents softened the blow by like because it was like the year that you know you start hearing kids in school i was 17. <laughs> no. you start hearing kids in school and they're, they're like there's no santa claus and then you have that like weird factual like no there is still a santa claus right it's like no there's not a santa Brought claus me a bike last week so my parents were like i think that they said well santa claus is it, it, it's like the spirit of santa claus right. and so one year oh, it's kind of like oh the spirit is get, is helping it's like my, right. my mom and dad are channeling the spirit yeah. and going Just to break my heart roses the day that to buy yeah. figures either one of those out and I, I don't want i just it's the innocence. Jews Especially. don't have this shit. So <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, oh. I, I don't have kids, obviously, right. uh, but I was a kid. Oh. Stay strong, sister. And yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm with you. Um, now, you know how, who I am today, so maybe that's not so bad, but you also know the journey I took mm-hmm. to get here. So maybe this isn't good advice because I don't know if you want your daughter to Oh, I'm not taking the like advice, but I'm going to yeah. listen to it. Yes. Uh, I. Vivi, use your magic and stay on the freeway. Right. I think the, smoke while you're doing it. For me, I think it's really sweet what you're doing, and I think it. I I think you can do it for another little bit. Yeah. But at some point, I don't think you want them to outsmart you. I think you want to let them in on it and make them feel smart. Like I don't. I don't think you just want her to be like going into school one day and telling her kids, guys, you don't understand. My dad is magic, and having the kids just crap on her and being like, you're. A, that's not true. That's like, the thing. I, I you don't want your that, kid to be the last, last one, one in school. Know. Thought yeah. about, thought about that already and covered it. What I said was, I was like, here's the thing. If you, you like, she said, because, oh, I can tell people at school. I'm like, it won't work at school. I was like, it's a magical thing that happens only in the house. Yeah, but that doesn't mm. mean she won't tell them and that they won't make fun she of her. She like, tell. Like the, I remember. She's, we, the, she's, she's in the kindergarten. I know, yeah, I know the, his oh daughter, Oh, my God, though, they're ruthless. His right. daughter does not suffer fools. She does not, she does not get made fun. She's not that kid. She is. She's oh. so. She's outgoing and social, and she's got some. She's got some karate chops. Yeah. Like the she kid, is the, not going to get made the, fun. The of. kids will want to start to try to do magic. That's what's going to happen. She's get, she's going to be kind of like her old man. She's going to be kind of like a cult leader. Like she probably already has a boxing ring going. I tell the story. I don't know if I told this on the air, and I probably shouldn't. We're tell We're going to breeze but. over the fact that he called you a cult leader. The, well, it, it okay. depends on what you, how you see the shmona. <laughs> yeah. Um, Continue. It's I'm a, gonna, mo- I'll, it's I'll a movie trivia show. Yeah. And it worked. I know. Fair enough. I know. Go ahead. Um, it was magic all along, yeah. guys. Thank oh, you. Good night. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's, let's talk about the uh, what? Talk about the crew trailer. Yes, absolutely. Yes. We should do that. So my buddy Eric Olson, who I worked with at, at Silver Pictures, Rodie and Motley Crew. He oh. was a big fan of Motley Crew. Yeah. So I worked with him, David Gambino, who then went on to work with uh, Robert Downey Jr. Ran his company for a long time. Preferred guest of the show. Very much so. Well, we have to get him on the show. He hasn't mm-hmm. been on this iteration of it yet. But then Ethan, Ir- or Ethan Irwin, obviously. Heard the, of him. Yes, the former movie trivia Schmodown singles champion and producer. Um, uh, movies like, I just watched again, The Nice Guys, mm-hmm. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, Game of Shadows. Yeah, he's done a lot of One stuff. One Floor Over the Cuckoo's Nest. So that was the, the, the duo, or actually the trio that I worked with. Um, oh, sh- and I'm forgetting about Naveed. There's four of us. Mm-hmm. Naveed was there, too. And so when I... Um, Eric Olson was a guy that I worked with as well, and Eric was a big fan of like Motley Crue. He went off to do his own thing. He's actually producing this movie, this nice. Motley Crue movie that's coming out. It's a on, Netflix movie, uh, Netflix, Motley yeah. Crue: The Dirt, based on the legendarily infamous Motley Crue: The Dirt autobiography right. written by the band, the account of the band's history. When they announced this movie's coming out, I'm like, I don't know how you put everything in that book onto the screen. You've read the book. Without, I've read the book a few times yeah. without just getting crucified by every group 
left wing, right wing, political, non political. Wow. There's just so much to piss dirt off everybody in the dirt. But it's also a very interesting story of a band. Now, like to be fair, Motley Crue has never been one of my favorite bands. I like some okay. of their stuff, but I also see them as just like I think that they're a, a Van Halen, Kiss, uh, New York Dolls knockoff. Okay, more than I do anything. They, they seem like they're trying to be. So they've always tried to be something. As opposed to just being themselves. I think they finally got it with Dr. Feelgood. That's a great album, thanks to Bob Rock's producing. But all that stuff aside, I was very interested to see this. So then this trailer drops. The movie comes out March 23rd. Ah, I think March 23rd. Um, and <laughs> it's a free for all. The, the trailer's cool. The tra- that's why I said uh, the, I, I know. The, I'm in the, your cult. The, I know. The trailer. What's happening on March 23rd? It's free for all. It's downtown oh. Lilla. I, I think it's actually before March 23rd is when the tickets still available. Movie comes tickets out. still available. March 22nd. Yeah. Uh, I think the trailer was good. They they mm. remi- they, they looked like Motley Crue. They looked like the band yeah. members. But it's hard to do a trailer or a movie like this and not have it feel like it's the VH1 Def Leppard yeah, movie, see, which was guys, enjoyable. That's what you guys said about Bohemian Rhapsody too. I think I did not say that a about lot, Bohemian a lot, Rhapsody. A lot of people did. You were not one of them, but a lot of people did. Um, you did not like this trailer. I didn't think it was great. It it gets stronger towards the end, but the setup for it, like there's one joke early on with the pants that was just like, kind of like what you're saying about the band, which I feel a little similarly to also. You're trying too hard. Like, it, it will be a crazy story because your story is crazy. You don't need to like, hit me, like, but I'm shh. I have realized now from this and Bohemian Rhapsody that I am the target audience because I loved this I, mean, I think I am too. This is my I, whole life growing I up and I love Bohemian I Rhapsody. I loved every second of this trailer because really? I, I didn't feel about the VH1 thing. I felt way more, and, and I didn't have a problem with that for Bohemian Rhapsody. I felt more that it was a, uh, more of a behind the scenes, uh, behind the music mm-hmm. movie, Bohemian Rhapsody that is. This one to me, I was, as I'm watching, I'm like, this seems to be what everybody wanted from Bohemian Rhapsody. It seems like they're going to get real gritty with it. They're going to get real dark and dirty and all the stuff that went down with these guys. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Sign me up. Because there's sometimes I want to see that, and there's sometimes I don't. I didn't want to see that with Bohemian Rhapsody. I wanted to see a concert film and feel good, and I did. This one, it's called The Dirt. I want to see The Dirt. And with I felt like I got that in the trailer. The one moment that you started giggling, what? who was it? Uh, Pete... Uh, who? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so from Saturday Night Live, Pete, Pete Davidson, Davidson, who I like, I, I think he's a nice, a nice kid. You know, we've we've kind of interacted before, and I want to have him on on this show. Uh, I didn't. I'll I'll lose it. What's that? Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, if he came on, yeah. I, I like him a lot. I do. I think I, what I'm worried about with Pete Davidson is because he he hit a certain type of celebrity, obviously with his relationship, right? And then he started getting all these deals, and now he pops up in all these movies. He was just in that movie that I, what did I just watch? Oh the, yeah, he was the gay guy's roommate. Yeah, what movie that was that? Oh, uh, what what men want? Just saw. No, that's no, not what I was thinking. Oh no, 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 but he was in What Men Want. He he played a, a character, and I thought he was miscast. I think he was fine in the role, but I thought he was miscast. And I think that you just want to make sure that they don't just try to say this guy's the next funny guy that's going to get all the roles because I think it's a disservice to him. I think that he is talented, and they should give him his own type of movie. Um, because I felt like th- very similar to what they did with Andy Samberg. They started putting him in all these movies in the beginning, and it wasn't hitting. Like I know that these guys love Hot Rod, but it bombed. I mean, it bombed hard. So I, I want to make sure that they take care of Pete Davidson, and I don't think that that role inside of the Motley Crew, I, he he seemed wickedly out of place. Set yeah. it up. That's the, what I was thinking. Of the rest of the, the casting for the Motley Crew thing, I think, seems pretty good because they have the uh, Ewan uh, Rio. Or, he played uh, uh, the guy who got his uh, the, the the sadistic guy in Game of Thrones who cut off uh, the other guy's balls mm-hmm. and fed. Remember that guy? Yeah. Uh, no, he uh, uh, Ramsey. Oh yes, Ram- yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramsey so he, Bolton. So who's he's, he playing? He's Mick Mars, the guitar player okay. who has a, a, a disorder that you know he's not. Oh, right, he, right, he's, right. He, he's got a lot of health problems. Douglas Booth is Nikki Six. I'm looking at it now. Machine Gun Kelly is Tommy Lee. That's interesting. Oh wow. Daniel okay. Weber. That was Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. Wow. Daniel Weber okay. plays Vince Neil, which I'm very interested in because Daniel Weber was really good in the the first season of The Punisher as like a guy who's going through uh, going through a lot of PTSD. Show me Vince Neil, the guy who's playing him. And Vince Neil. <laughs> is uh, it's his name is uh, Daniel Weber. Yeah, we, there he is. You want to pull up some Daniel Weber picks? Yeah. Um, what was he in? Daniel Weber. There he is. Yeah. Oh, he, he was he in was the Punisher. The, he was the boyfriend in the Punisher. I didn't the, see it. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he uh, okay. he was going through some stuff, some PTSD stuff. But okay. uh, yeah, because he was da- he had been dating her I've and then became stalkery, right? The, I, don't, the I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. The first season. I haven't seen. No, it. I think that was Billy Barnes. Who you're thinking of? Oh, who, yeah. 
Um, uh, wow. Well, anyway, guys. But yeah, know. and so, um, but yeah, so so I think the casting's pretty on brand. Right. I just okay. I, I didn't buy a lot of the. Oh oh. Nope. Right. Mm-hmm. The like the actual interaction like like when you stop the trailer and you get because the music's the best part of the trailer. Yes. But then when you actually and and the the concert stuff looks great. So I think it's the same thing as Bohemian Rhapsody. It's like the uh, the actual interactions. How's that going to play out? Right. I'd like is, to, is that going to be believable? Right. But they did cast. Ozzy there, Osbourne. There is somebody who's playing Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. There's somebody who's playing David Lee Roth. And oh, okay. there's somebody that's playing Doc McGee. Doc McGee was the manager. He managed Bon Jovi. He managed a bunch of bands. And he's notorious. He's infamous. So I'm so interested to see that relationship between him and Molly. Here's Crew. the guy. Go to the second picture there, Cody. This is the guy that's playing Ozzy. That's that's pretty is good. Is that the guy from the mm-hmm. show about the penises? I don't know. There's a lot of show about penises. Okay, yeah. come on. They drew the penises. Take. They drew the penises, and then they like oh, took oh, it seriously. Oh, Riley loves like, that. Uh, un- yeah, it's a documentary. Riley, come on. Riley, they got Riley, canceled. Oh yeah, um, three seasons. Mer- American, Vandal. American Vandal. Vandal. Is that Thank it? you. Mm-hmm. Or no? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, I don't know. Listen, let's, it is, let's, it let's is. move on. Let's move on. So no. I want I want to get to some Twitter no. questions and phone calls. So let's do a hashtag Collider Live as well as calling in. Cody will let us know when we have a phone call, or at least someone will, will let us know when we have a phone call. I don't know if it would be Cody. It could be one of our buddies from from Massachusetts. Um, okay. Why do you keep mentioning my hometown? Home Roxy. state. I thought you listened to the show. I do. Okay. That's the show. So let's, uh, yeah. is there anything, anything else going on in, uh, in movie news? Uh, not much. That was most that was everything it? we that got. That was the big yeah, stuff. That was the big stuff. All right. Do we have a phone call? No. <laughs> no, not yet. Okay, fine. So let's do a hashtag Collider Live. I'm looking at this guy. Uh, this is perfect. Michael Navarro. This is what my hair would look like if uh, if I did the thing. Right, so there's a picture. Why don't you a picture of that? him. Why don't you re- uh, that's what it would look like, would it? but worse. Okay, why don't you retweet I think. that? Because people can't see that. I'm going to uh, retweet it now. But here, this is what I want to bring up off right. of this hashtag. What's that? Julie responded to me. And said, if you do that, I'll kill you. She wants to go to the episode nine premiere with me. What I tell you, we so, can work this. Boom. So if I can get you to go to the episode nine with premiere Julie, with a Julie guest, hasn't been able to go on a premiere date with that's me. Then you, can, then you can grow your hair out for She's, four months. She is throwing that on the, out there right now. I like that idea. I, I think I can probably get it. Four that. months is so long. Do a little negotiating. No. I have to get a haircut first. Sure. And then grow then it. Then grow out. it. I think a lot of higher ups at Disney would have. <laughs> I think I think so. We're still going to talk about this tonight because she also right, wanted about it. Endgame yeah. as well. And I said, "Whoa, you know, yeah, this is a lot." Yeah. But yeah. well, we that's will see. Lot. But then she did say and send me a gift that uh, said, "But this is what you'd look like," and it's a poodle with hair yeah. out to here, All right. which so she's not crazy about. about. So All we're right. talking about it. No, but she's but see, this is what I like about Julie. She's doing the negotiating. She's yeah. like, "Don't you say no yet?" Ju- yeah. Oh, wait a minute. And Julie's like, "Wait, how can I get in on this?" Smart. She's very One of the funny through lines in "Knocked Up" is that they're friend it like lost the bet so he's got to keep growing that beard out right and they just they, they rip him mercilessly which will happen to you yeah but again it's the episode nine title yeah, yeah. so i want that hair i want and you can't wear hats or the premiere yeah. no 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 not, 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 on, not, air, on air on air on air on air i can't wear a hat I, I, during this show i rather shows you can wear hats i don't care i can wear a hat show. but then i'll take it off to show everybody oh come on at least yeah. you gotta, i gotta i gotta the negotiate things. a couple of shows to oh, where you're just that's fine this is all this is all stuff that can be sorted out it's in fine. arbitration we, we, the, yeah. the big the big deal needs to happen and then we can get to once a, a sort week of, no hat yeah all right let's see, let's ask our let's ask our uh, Ma- let's ask our massachusetts friends do we have any uh can you now no. i'm pissed i do watch do we have a do we have a phone uh, call that's yeah. now you know what you're doing can we do we have a phone call <laughs> <laughs> do we have a phone call <laughs> yeah, thank you. From our Massachusetts. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. Hey, you're in Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, this is Mike from Dayton, Ohio. Hello, Mike from Dayton, Ohio. How are you doing? Doing good. How are you guys? Good, man. What's up? What do you got for us today? Uh, well, uh, first of all, I just want to say I'm super excited for Chicago. I got my VIP ticket. Uh, I'm going to the Top Ten show, and I'm going to see Ellis's uh, comedy show. So I can't wait to make a whole weekend. Nice. Out Thank of you, it. Mike. Awesome. Are you coming to the, you coming to the show? Or are those just those first two? No, I got I got the VIP ticket for the show. Oh, awesome! And awesome! Also, awesome. great. Well, shit, you are doing a full weekend. That's awesome. Mike knows how to rock. If yeah. we were doing Collider Live, would you have come to that too? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. Just wondering. See, I told Roxy that, but she doesn't want to do it. All right. So what do you, what do you got for us, Mike? So uh, my alma mater does a short film festival every spring, and I'm gearing up to shoot to shoot mine for this year. I'm doing my first horror film. Uh, my question for you guys was: Have you ever thought about doing like a collider film festival with the fans, where they submit like a short film, and you guys like judge them, give awards, and stuff like that? Well, the answer to that is yes. I know for a fact uh, that was a big, and that's that's all Mark Fernandez. Mark Fernandez had an idea to do that. Um, 
like right away, he, when we, like two years yeah. ago, when we were still with Complex, he wanted to do that. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if that still happens. He's he, he's a filmmaker, and that's something that he's always wanted to do. And I think he likes to reward talented people. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's still something. I don't know if it's something that he's going to continue to look after, but I, I wouldn't be surprised because he's he loves to reward uh, young filmmakers and creativity. So it's it's, it's certainly possible. Sounds awesome. Cool. Uh, I hope right. you guys get around to making that happen. All right, brother. Cool. So look, we it's look a great forward. Idea. To, yeah, we look forward to meeting you in uh, in Chicago. So thanks again for watching, and thanks for being a great fan. Thank you, guys. All right, later. You know, uh, okay. So if we have a Collider Film Festival, are the Wangers allowed to enter it? Yeah, of course. Well, they, they work here though, so it's kind of a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, the yeah. runner this weekend. Uh, very excited about. Yeah, this. I saw the trailer. Did you see the? Tra it's like. So totally different from Chet Barney. I, I hope, personally, I hope, dramatic, Chet, right? it's like I good hope Chet Barney makes a cameo like in the background somewhere. He's just like, you see him fixing some Blu-ray somewhere. Yeah. But yeah, I think this looks like a more of a serious Could thing. Chet Barney show up in the free-for-all? Cody. <laughs> All right, thank you to our friends over in Massachusetts. Let's have every character no. that Cody does. I want Dobby in the free-for-all. I want... No, God! <laughs> no, God, please, no! Can I, can I, no. Ask, our, can I ask our friends no. over in Massachusetts if they think it's garbage? No! No. You garbage? You want to call garbage, boy? Thank you. Roxy's still yeah. fucking lost. Like, she just it's missed so the exit. It's so You I, better listen, Jack. I, I do more than... I listen to every show, and it's, yet there's always one thing. It's from the documentary of High on Crack Street in Massachusetts. We've uh, been playing right. on the show for the last three weeks. I didn't know that was in... Ma oh, yeah. I did know it was Massachusetts. All right, thank yeah. you, Roxy. Yeah. yeah. You garbage. All right, let's do... Let's yeah. do a hashtag. And then I got a call hashtag. Get out of here. Yeah, at, J, uh, at TJ Marconi asks, uh, there was some breaking news here where mm -hmm. Gwyneth Paltrow spoiled... That is, she is done with the MCU after Endgame. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty standard stuff, right? We're gonna lose some actors. Well, Chris yeah, Evans did the same thing. Yeah, man, we're starting. Ago. We're starting a new phase. I mean, after this is the end of this is end the end of the first era with, that started mm -hmm. with Iron Man. I would hope so. I mean, because I want to see new. It's it's new blood. We got to see new blood kind of come in and do some new stuff. Mm -hmm. This is the end of the story of all the people that we've been following. Maybe some other ones trickle in, and and I don't think they'll be. Forefront. I think the forefront is going to be Spider Man and Black Panther, Doctor and Strange. Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. Like they've they've built up the ta they built up the talent. It's, yeah. it's how every I see everything in wrestling in the schmodown. It's the same thing. You got to build up the talent from the from the bottom and get them, make sure that they're they're getting over with the fans. And once they're over with the fans, and once the old guard is down, then you start to progress. Velma? The see, yeah. I could see I could see a scenario where it's more likely that you see Gwyneth Paltrow on screen, continuing in the MCU over Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. Because I think that I think that the Downey could die. Iron Man, Tony Stark could die physically yeah. in Endgame, but his sentient voice could kind of take over with Spider Man. True. But then you could always have Pepper having a scene with Spider Man, just talking about Tony right. and like how much he believed in him, like like right. all that stuff. She's so not gonna have a prominent role. I never anymore. believe actors when they when they talk about okay, this is it. It's like really, right. yeah. are you sure you're not gonna need to pay rent right. in a couple months? Right. Like it's. It, there's always a dump truck you can back up to somebody's house and say, "Here's a pile of cash. We want you to." Well, do that's this. why I don't think Downey's going to go. I think that I think Chris Evans is legit done with the role. I think mm -hmm. he wants to be done with it for for good, and I think that that's why they probably wrote him in there. Where it, this is the end of Cap. Mm. With Robert Downey Jr., I think that he. He's also a very smart businessman. I think that he's tried to make some other movies that and try to build off the star, and they just haven't worked. I think that he knows he's. You got to remember where he was, man. He was in. A, he was in a, a, when up and coming, big, huge actor. Got into the stuff that he got into, and, and his career was done. Mm -hmm. They did not want to insure him. Nope. Yeah. For Iron Man one, and Favreau had to fight for it, and he owes Favreau a Christmas card and then some every every year because that's. Now he's one the, again one of the biggest movie stars on the planet. He's loaded again. He's got all this stuff too, and he's gonna play, he's gonna play this role for as long as possible. Three members of the MCU in Zodiac. Speaking about oh, great movie. Yeah. Speaking about where people come from though, and what they were doing before, I do kind of feel like Gwyneth Paltrow probably wants to get back to making different kind of movies. I mean, it's not like when she was cast in the MCU, she was a nobody. Right. She was killing it. And so I think probably she's a little tapped out, too. I think so, too. I think that she I th she probably wants to do way different roles yeah. if she wants to even act anymore. Who knows? Yeah, she also has kids, and she's like, yeah. I, I saw her... Uh, 
with her daughters getting dinner the other day. She just like wants to be, be a, a mom. Fa- yeah. yeah. And I'm not saying fine. she doesn't want to act. I don't know her life. But she could very she well. She also want doesn't to both, have to. She's she she's did, also wealthy. She super doesn't need to actually yeah. use it to pay the bill because she's got her whole uh, goop. Yeah. She's got a lot of stuff going on. Right. I'm aware of yeah, Goop, yeah. but yeah. again, so, so like it, it never hurts to have right. some MCU money coming yeah. in. The let's bank. do let's do one more call and then uh, and then get out of here. Uh, you got somebody? Uh, nope. All right, I well, shut it down. I'm oh sorry. well, never mind. Let's let's go home. Yeah. All, All right, right, listen. So tomorrow I'm going to be here, but I'll be here a little later. We'll be in around eleven. Um, Roxy and McCoog will be taking over the ship for the first hour, okay. and then Jared Haven is actually coming in with them. Uh, you know what? He just. Like, yes, it great. looks like he's, they're coming. Jared and Ashley will I be on. I just got that text. Perfect. How perfect. Jared and Ashley will be on the show tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Yep. Check out Mark Ellis. Get those tickets for his show on April 12th. Get those Schmodown tickets. Get the free-for-all tickets if you're in California. 40 competitors. Come by and check us out. And then February 23rd, will Roxy be going to Chicago? You can live stream it and find out. All right, guys, check us out. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.